Nobody plays <laughs> with friends. Welcome to the world of Binding of Isaac. Yeah, welcome. This we is a chill ASMR stream. <sighs> We're gonna do fun noises while we play Binding of <sighs> Isaac. Nick, how many hours would you say you've played of this game so far? I can't count that high. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, I, I don't know. I like don't know the more, number. More or less than 300. Oh God. Dude, I actually, um, this account doesn't have it, but I'm, I'm being serious, okay? Get ready for this. Okay. Now in the, in the PlayStation world, I'm famous. Yeah? Because I was the 19th person in all of the world. All to of get, Gaia? To get the 1 billion percent <laughs> achievement. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. You can go, go right now, go to psn.com slash Mick Lauer <gasps> Rice Pirate, and you'll see... Is it there's really a big tro rice No, <laughs> I don't fucking know the address. <laughs> there's a big, there's a photo of me giving him the thumbs up and and Isaac on my shoulder. You're shaking hands with uh, the guy who made the game. Yeah, with Isaac. He's himself. crying. There's a tear <laughs> coming out of his eyes. Like I don't know how you did it, but good job. Oh wait, wait before we start, uh, I want to say I literally I don't know a single thing about this game except for the fact I've walked in on people playing it and th that's it. Uh, so Mick says. This, he has a lot of shit unlocked, so he wants to play the game and yeah, have me choose items. I wasn't able to get, yeah, all the stuff, unfortunately, with this save file, because this isn't my system, but mm -hmm. we do got some stuff unlocked. And I think it would be fun if you choose whether I pick an item up or not. I want you not to influence him in any way, Mick. No, I, I, won't. I, I, okay. won't, I won't be like, hey, should I pick that up, or, dude, should I pick that up? Okay. I'm gonna let you choose. <laughs> buy or don't buy. Okay, I'll, I'll be uh, Give it a buy. I'm completely oblivious. I don't know nothing. Okay, go. All right, we are gonna go with Azazel just because it'll be nice and quick. Ah, uh, yeah. Because he can fly. Okay, so what is the story, Big? The story of Binding of Isaac is there's a little boy and his mama believes in G.O.D. The big man upstairs. Jeff and, Godley? Yes, Jeff Godley. And Jeff Godley knocks on the door and says, Yo, kill your child if you if you want to be good. So it is like the the original Binding of Isaac tale from <gasps> Genesis. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know the Bible like you. I was going to say, Abraham is actually told oh, is this as a test of yes. faith. Uh, to buy or to don't buy. To sacrifice his son Get Isaac. It. And he binds him and puts him on like a Ooh. stone to like sacrifice him. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Once his, and then so he he passes the test of fate, and God like stops him at the last second. Is like, no, I believe you. God believe was you such a it. God was such a he was the original no, a prankster, dick. just he, a prank, bro. What a, what a move! Yeah, what a dick! Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I just offended somebody. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's that guy? That's envy. It's you. What? That's the face you make. It's you, the fool. When you're no, no, wait. What's the fool in the corner mean? Uh, that is a card Whoa. that I'm not gonna tell you what it does. Well, actually, you know what? Fuck it. We're, we're gonna do the items. The fool allows me to reset myself outside of a room. Oh. So if I'm getting my ass handed to me, or more specifically, if I go into a room that it would, like, hurt me to leave, there's, like, spiked doors, it'll mm. let me zap myself out. It's just a little teleport. Dingle. Dingle. This game is very immature. I don't think I want to I'm gonna, see. I'm going to use that item you gave me, and it might be a problem, but let's just give it a shot, shall we? Someone's oh, bombs. Oh, no. Is that really troll face? Yes. Okay, Why? look, this game was made by an idiot. <laughs> Dude. <Damn. laughs> oh, no, my God. I actually, I, I like his games. I do. But why? Oh, I, shit. I should have. Uh, fuck. Sorry. You should have put in a funnier face, like, like, the fuck? That one. Or. That didn't even exist then, did Magusta. it? Magusta. Oh. That's you know. the real fun <laughs> shit. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Listen, I haven't gone into the shops yet. Oh, here's a good case of using the fool card. Um, you're gonna see a couple more, uh, meme faces in this. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're uh, not- Wait, doesn't it hurt you when you pass through ah! <laughs> That's just- I hate it. Okay. I hope it's a bomb- Okay, here, watch. Blow up the thing! Ah, fuck, I missed. What does that do? do miss. No. It's a bomb. It could have blown this up. This is a uh, a bomb chest. You got a bomb. Would it be bag. good to use the fool here? Or Correct. Is that a waste? Yes. No. Fuck. Because otherwise I get hurt coming out of that door. Also, I can't get hearts with this character. Do you see how like my hearts are black? Mm hmm Just like in real life. That's your health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't. Uh, I can't get red hearts to replenish myself. You need black hearts. I need yes, black hearts, wow. which are much rarer. That's cool. But what is the benefit of Ooh. being this little? What is the fuck? Is that a dead chihuahua? Okay. Uh, get it. 
Yes. <laughs> this is a very good item. Oh, what does it do? It gives me power. Power beyond the flabonition. <laughs> these look like you. Look at all these little guys. Um, look at the little face, little happy face. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't secrete. I don't like do that, you don't, man. You don't. I don't like blood, you know? I don't this, blood. This game has much blood. I do like it. I do like blood. Mick, did you know that I like blood? I didn't until right now. Well, I, I do. think you're lying, actually. I remember one time when you cut your finger and it started bleeding and you started screaming. That was only because it was like mayonnaise, not red. <laughs> Wait, what? I hate when that happens. <laughs> Mayonnaise? I, 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 I ate McDonald's for a week straight. <laughs> <laughs> you got a blood test and it was just fucking mayonnaise. That's why my doctor makes me go to see him because he sucks what, at you that. You want him to get that item that looks like a flask? No, just ignore that. Good. Oh, Because <laughs> oh. I can't get it. Plus, oh, that, I, I didn't mean all items. I meant like the, the character changing okay. items. Oh, I didn't know. I, I, don't, I don't know the difference. Look, is that a tapeworm? Yes. Have you seen the the picture of the bear walking around and he has two like fifteen foot tapeworms hanging out of him? Ew. Ew. Yeah. Out of his mouth? Where? Out of his asshole. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. But basically, there's this worm walking through uh, the woods nice. and he's got like fifteen foot white tapeworms sticking out of him. Oh my god. And then it's kind of like a comic Ugh. where the next picture is like a fisherman running up and and hucking his fish line into it, <laughs> pulling it out and reeling it in. <laughs> And then the next panel is him sitting at a dinner table with a big coiled up worm and so, everyone's happy with forks in their hands. <laughs> is it true that if you have uh, a tapeworm or something that you can, um... Was that under the chest? Whoa. Yeah, Portal? this was a teleportation chest. Is it true if you put, like, milk get in that. your lip? Mm. Oh, really? Okay. Get that. So, it just, okay, I'm gonna get it, but mm -hmm. I, after I get it, here's what happened. Uh, I now know. have one heart. Ooh. Of energy, Ooh. but I have nine lives. Oh. But what's also good about it is it's a guppy item, which means that if I get three of these, I turn into a magical creature. Wow. Uh, but I was gonna say, if you have a tapeworm and they say you put milk inside of your lip, oh no, it's it's if you put sugar on the end of your tongue. Oh, okay, and it, then it'll start to like crawl, crawl out of your mouth. I, I don't believe that. And then you just pull that it out like a fire hose. Up. If that was but real, you've heard, there'd be you've videos heard that, of it. right? Yeah, no, I've heard that if you if you have a t big big tapeworm, you put sugar on the end of your tongue and sit there with your mouth mouth open for a bit, it will crawl up through your body and try to eat the sugar. See, we've all heard different versions because I heard the one where you I've put milk. I've never heard any of those. That's disgusting. That, that can't be real because there would be videos of it. That's I was gonna true. say there'd be videos. Also, like, the tapeworm definitely is designed to live in your intestines. I don't yeah. think it ever crawls up through your, like, yeah. ass, like your throat. It's a really cool myth, but it's, I don't think it's real. We should try it. There, there's weirder shit, honestly, that are real in nature. Like those little zombie slugs with the ants. Little funguses. Yeah. That The Last of Us is based on. And that's real. No. It is. That's real. There's little uh, parasites that stay, get into slugs' eyeballs oh, yeah. and they pulsate and they look and like they little make, aliens. And they make them walk upward get toward it. the light so that the, that a bird will eat them. And then the bird, then they Can't. propagate Aww. through the bird shitting all over the place. Really? Yeah. yeah really. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a nightmare. Do yeah. I, have you? Well, heard, if there was something like yeah. that that could affect people, it would be. Have you? Did you hear about that guy? Did I already talk about that? Whoa! How did you know that was there? From the map, I guess. Oh, wow. Do you recognize this guy? Uh, no. He's, Actually. Isn't that forever... Isn't that sad face, um, man? I don't, so. I don't think so, isn't no. Looks like he's smiling, sad? in fact. He I looks kind of like... <laughs> oh, he yeah. is crying. Yeah, you're, there's little tears. We should kill him. I he's see end, tears. end his misery. Oh, there you go. I like those little MS Paint flies. <laughs> was <laughs> Two that frames just like of an, animation. Is that just like an Easter egg room? It doesn't, it doesn't have any purpose? <laughs> Um, so there's uh, two secret rooms in every level, and Whoa. you, you can kind of tell where they are. Like, I didn't have a key, so I couldn't get the item for this, but I really wanted a key, so I had to mm. I had to finagle my way into this room. That's cool. And now I can go get the item. Uh, have you ever played Zelda Link's Awakening? or the, the Of course! Eight? Do you remember in that game you could walk into a shop, and the, the shopkeeper would face you at all times, but you, yeah. if you run up and down fast enough, he, you, you could grab an item and run out without him uh -huh. catching you. And you. Really? And, and if you come back in, yeah. he kills you. It's like the Blast coolest you thing. with a Kamehameha. What?! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, no, I have not- I don't remember that. And, and, it, it means you can never go back to the shop again. Now let's be and honest, did you figure you that out thief. yourself, yeah, or did yeah, you yeah. see that online? No, no, I figured- no, when I was a kid, I figured it scared the fucking yeah, Jesus no, out of me. <laughs> Same thing here. Yeah, no, that's that's a really cool thing. I like that. I like games that do weird shit and like that. And everyone who says your name for the rest of the game calls you thief. 
Yeah. Re- wait, wait, really? Everybody? Yeah, everybody. It, it didn't do that in, in uh, Oracle's, I don't think. No, that, that's. I don't know if that's an Oracle's thing, but that's definitely a Get that. Link's Awakening thing. You want the little psychic friend? Little psychic friend? He's good? Yeah, a little black buddy. Aw. So Even though, like, you get to the last boss, you get to Ganon, and he's just like, You fucking thief! Yeah, pretty much. Wow. You're worse than Ganon. <laughs> so he's You're the, the last boss at the end of the game. Because <laughs> you stole the shovel. Yeah, all the shop owners come after you at the end. I would like that. I like that sound. Uh, Monstro. Yeah, look at that Snaggletooth. What's, ah. the, what's that guy? Not that guy, but the guy you just killed with the bleeding so eyes. He, if he, he hits you, have is it a whole oh. heart of damage? Would you instantly die, or, yep. or would it just be a half heart? Nope. Oh, right now it's all half heart, okay. but eventually it will be a whole heart. Okay, Meg, from an outsider's perspective... Do you want perspective, that eight ball? Do you want oh. the eight ball? Yeah. Okay. From an outsider's perspective, right, uh, all I know is randomly generated every time you start, right? Yep. Uh, there's different bosses, different items every playthrough. Yes. But after a while, would it not get old? No. Why does it not get old? Because as you combine items, you get like totally different builds. Mm. And so, I mean, look, <laughs> for anybody, you can get sick of a game, sure. But it has. But you've never gotten sick I of it. I haven't. Yeah. It has so much replayability just because it changes so much every single time. Like even right now, this build is. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, one heart. Yeah. <laughs> one heart. One heart death. Whoa. What happened to your head? I have a. I have a. A, a gypsy, a gypsy Ooh. thing on my face. Watch out! Yeah, they're little bastards. Yeah, one heart, one heart death. Uh, I need to get some fucking help. Oh, <gasps> there we go. This is gonna help. This is good. This is cool. These guys suck because they can fucking chuck shit. So, how many like variables do you think are in the game that make it so different every time? Um, well, beyond just like the randomized levels, between the items themselves, there's like hundreds and hundreds of items. Wow. Hundreds. Wow. Should I get poo water? Yeah. Get okay. Yeah. Charge shots. Yes. And, and so, do any of the items have negative drawbacks? So, yeah, kind of. Um, there's one item in particular called the Crystal Skull, which I don't even know why it's in this game. Oh, wait, this character can fly over holes? Yeah, that's why I start with this character, ah. so we can kind of just, like, bypass some ah. shit. This makes the game a lot easier, because spikes, like, I can't get hit by spikes oh. either. Um, but Ooh. the Crystal Skull, when you get hit once, yeah. you fucking start... Like, you, it'll make you start over from the outside of the room, mm. which means any progress you had is gone. <laughs> so that can- that can suck. And then there's something called, I think, soy milk, where, uh... <laughs> it gives you, like, little, tiny little bead tears. They're soy really fast, boy. but they're, like, totally useless. You're my little soy man. Should I give him money, or should I murder him? Uh, kill it. What are your current tears? <laughs> are they just tears? <laughs> Sweet. Wow, yeah, this is good. Uh, my current... I, I got a lot of power. My stuff. But other than that, my stats are garbo. Oh. What's that little code? Is that like a password to? Oh shit. Oh shit. These guys blow up, and that would be bad. Fuck. Fuck. Hold on. So, spiders hey. blow up. Yeah. Uh, the, because they're the black spiders. They blow up. If you are sorry, I'm asking so much questions. Not I'm, at all. I'm just intrigued. This is cool. So oh, we haven't see I wanted to get I wanted the other save file just because you can see some of the crazy crazy builds. Oh, the troll bomb. Cuz you can create like game breaking builds. Really? Yeah, like the whole screen is just de like just full of your bullets everywhere. You become bullet hell boss. Correct. Cool. Yes. 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 I I like the I remember the, the, this game used to look a lot more flashy and like yeah, it was like smoother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. now it's pixel art? Mm hmm. Wow. Yeah. Um, I actually prefer this. If you had one thing, Binding Isaac oh, I think was it looks a more. Flash game, right? Was it? Yeah. yeah. There was a Flash version on Newgrounds. I used to love his game. Do you remember Spewer? Yeah. That was a really cool game. Yeah, no, I really like the concept of Spewer. Mick, if you could say one thing to that piece of shit, Edward McMillan, what would you say? <laughs> I'd say... It's Edmund. Not Ed Ed Edward. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> Edward to Dylan. Edmund McMurphy. <laughs> oh my god. What would you say to him, Mick? I'd say... Hey, buddy. You make a good game. Aw. But I don't like Meat Boy, you sorry. Want that spoon? <laughs> oh. Do you well, want the spoon? Yeah. Okay. Oh, speed up? I don't- I don't hate... I don't hate me, boy. I just I prefer Isaac a lot. And then there was that new game that they were doing, like this card thing. Mm. And maybe I'm just not giving it a chance because I got starry eyes for Isaac. But it just doesn't look. It doesn't entice my 
doesn't make my uh, gonads tingle. I will say, I like... I like games with consequence. Yeah? And I felt like Meat Boy didn't have any. Oh, just because you restart, like, constantly? Yeah. This has the ultimate consequence. Yeah, I like that. You build this character, you, you, you fucking rock and roll, and you could be playing for hours and then get one item, if you don't know the items, get one item out of the hundreds yeah. that fucks your build, and you're just done. I just like all all that all those hours, all that effort. I like for being not. mischievous and pushing how far I can do something, and then if I die, I know I fucked up and it's my fault. But it's I, always your fault. I don't I don't like. You remember Fez? Yeah. Like there was just like no consequence in that either, and it, like that's why I never liked it really. Is but there, is I do there like an end game in this. In this? Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. there? Yeah. yeah, there's like, like when you get to that skull level, is that, is that technically the end of your run? Uh, or? kinda. I Sometimes know. you can go beyond, far beyond the, okay. yeah. But yeah, there are endings, there's multiple endings, um, depending on how far, how many things you've unlocked and stuff. This is, this is not an OP run, by the way, this is... But there are ways to actually kind of break this game. If you get the right combo of things, Ooh. especially in greed mode, you can... You can break this game so hard. We had an entire screen just full of every item in the game. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. And we got so many uh. of them, it started re... It, it like basically, it doesn't recycle the items, they all default to breakfast. Uh. Which is a health thing you can get. Is... Oh, get that. Yay or nay. Yeah. Alright, looks like a dummy book. Oh, it is a dummy book. Shot. Yep. Fucking, I didn't say, I think it would actually say for dummies. But, uh, what was I gonna say? Is, uh, is his company called Team Meat? Does Team Meat make Isaac? Is it? No, it's called, this is made by Ni Ni Nicicle? Ni <laughs> nice Guys? Nicholas? Ni Nikolai? Yeah, uh -huh. some shit like that. I thought it was like oh, how yes. Sonic Team made, like, uh, Rolling Egg Child. Remember that? Billy Hatcher and the Billy giant Hatcher egg. rolling egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey Tomar. Yeah. Why don't you make a, a fan made Sonic game, but make it about you? Make it better. Yeah. And just you running. Is this just for the sake of the Tomar Emeralds? <laughs> I, I didn't even think about that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> to say, that game Freedom Planet, I I haven't really played it yet, but Oh yeah, I've seen yeah. But I know that's like a that's like a big Sonic it's Sonic type fan game. Mm. I guess yeah, I don't know if is it fair to call get it, it a fan get it, game? Get it, 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 get it. <gasps> We it's got money. Thing. We got money. I've, I pretty much said get everything so far because I'm just interested in what ah, happens. That's fair. There will be a point though, like if we get a Satan room where like we just physically can't even get all- Well, actually with eight lives we could get everything. What is a Satan room? Satan room? That is where I got the the cat. That's where I got the nine lives from. Okay. Yeah. You'll see it. I, I think we'll see another one. We'll see. Those are randomized. And there's also angel rooms, but because we grabbed a Satan item, I think angel rooms are out of the question. They stop spawning. I like the fucked up, scary, clangy music. Yeah, there's a another version of this game, a fan-made version. Really? Uh, I think it's called Anti-Birth, mm -hmm. and it's uh, published. I, I think it's published like uh, officially, oh. but it wasn't made by them. It was made by by a bunch of different people. But they have um, the soundtrack for it is fucking phenomenal. Wow. Get the red croissant. Okay. What does that do? <laughs> Champion belt. That oh, makes, makes all the- uh, Now all the enemies are more difficult. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. Good job. Thank you. Yep. Let's see what this does. Ooh. Oh. Uh, yeah. You little shit. That was kind of useless, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. alright. So, so now there's gonna be harder enemies. I really like the little particles and like wall effects they have oh, in every man. room. Like and that flowing water's down. cool. Oh, like... There's, yeah, the little flies, too. You like these little, like, four-pixel flies? Yeah. You see those? I like- mm -hmm. I do. I like that shit. Is your game gonna have that? Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Oh, fuck me! This oh. is getting bad. This is getting real bad. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Fuck you! See, the- the little psychic shot, the little guy- the little buddy, he's shooting them, so I don't know if I get too close, they're gonna fucking explode, because those bullets, like, track them, like that. Ah. Like, if I would've gotten close, I would've gotten my ass handed to me. Alright, we need to get the fuck out of here, we need to beat this boss and just <laughs> This bail. is the boss? Oh. Yeah. Mega fatty. Mega fatty. Gluttony. 
Oh my god. Oh my. Mick, is this your favorite game of all time? Bloodborne. Bloodborne? Bloodborne. I would say Bloodborne's pretty good. Bloodborne's good. How Blood much DLCs did Bloodborne get? One. Oh. One? Yeah. One. The Old Hunters. One? How much did Dark Souls 2 get, too? Dark Souls 2 got a three. That's... Oh. But I, then, I, and it had a, a third, and it had a second version. So yeah, they had three DLCs and then had the, the scholars, scholars of the, the first, first sin. I wonder yeah. why they put so much effort into Dark Souls 2 and not Because Bloodborne. it's a great game and fuck everybody who says it's not. <laughs> How about that? How about that? That's a good reason. Listen, Mick. I'm not gonna say it's a bad game, because it's not a bad game. All right, but good. it's definitely the worst out of all of them. <gasps> That's yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's saying like I don't like it's still a good game, but I uh, I never ah. beat it. I never I was never enticed to beat it. I mean, look, I, I get. Oh my god. Honestly, you know oh, what? Oh no! I've never been enticed to beat any of them except for the first one, except for Demon Souls and Dark Souls One. Kratos. Yeah. Buy or don't buy. Get that little cyber. It's mine. All mine. What does it do? Robo baby. It it it's fucking little... it just like runs away. You Whoa, see that? It, it just left it, me. It lasers everyone. Though. Oh fuck ass. Fuck ass. Um, no. Could you oh! not uh you know walk into a into a biodome and kill all of the you know? You stop. The, the problem with this is that I have like zero range. The problem with me is I have zero range, my dear. That's you what said she to the beautiful said. woman. <laughs> <laughs> Mick, have you ever said something like that to a beautiful vixen? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so the robo yeah, baby. I was, we were hooking up, and I was like, "Oh, oh, I'm going to go." My range is inadequate. And, and she like she backed off. She like went across the room, and I was like, "No, no, 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 <laughs> too far! No, like, no, 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 no! It's just going to fall out." <laughs> what is the furthest you've ever coomed? Um. Back when I was younger, I definitely had range. Something happened in my old age. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know if my dick hole got bigger. Once, like now, it's just like really wide. One time when I was like 16, it hit the other side oh, of the room, god. and I don't know how it happened, but it did. Oh god! There's always those mysterious incidents. It was like the planets aligned, and every muscle in my body contracted perfectly at the same time, <laughs> and just shot it out like it a blue like a sniper wall. rifle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to save this. Mick, I told you I used to be able to crack my dick, right? Crack? Yeah. I, up until I was like 19, I used to be able to bend my boner backwards in the morning and it would crack. No! I swear to God. No, I, you're lying. I know, I swear on my fucking soul, on my life. Cr I swear. <laughs> yeah, no, I did. It was like a deep- Your dick like bone? That. It was so, I was- Was so it like crack- like- there's no like bone in your, your knuckles. I don't know what it was, but it cracked. I swear to God, it must have been like a weird cartilage thing. <laughs> cartilage. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand it, but I used to be able to do it. Chris, did I you should have gotten that checked out. I proved it to a friend one time. Wait, what? Taking your dick out and fucking cracking it for him? Actually, no. I guess it's not proved because <laughs> I did it under a blanket, and maybe like maybe I could have cracked could, my yeah. knuckles according to him. Mm -hmm. But I swear on my soul, on my family, I swear on all of my wealth. I swear on my my grand estate. All right, at this point, I do believe you. <laughs> I believe you now. Wow, Mick, what's this cool stuff? It's the shop. It's what you're, it's the shop. Look, mm -hmm. do you see this item? Mm -hmm. I can pick it up or I can't. It's up to you. The the satchel. The yes. Should I get the pouch? Nope. I, okay. I'm gonna get a heart. Lol, you really wanted that thing. You really I did. I did. I did actually really want that. <laughs> He's already influencing. He's no, already it's too late. Rules. It's too late. No, I didn't get it. I know. I, I can let you know. But the in... fact that you specifically oh. asked about the satchel. Oh. Or, or is that usually the only here, like here, throw item, one up here. item, the 15 oh cent my one? I like those things. They're cool. They went to bed. How much uh, music is in this game? Uh, two. Two music? Two music. Okay. <laughs> Is there supposed to be a metaphor in this game? Yeah. That God is bad, I think. God's not dead. I think it's something like that. Have you seen God's not dead? It's not so much a metaphor as it is a <laughs> message. Yes. This fucking sucks. Whoa! This fucking sucks. Why does this suck? This looks easy. No, it's done now. I thought that was a boss. I thought he was gonna be in, like, boss mode. Ooh, was it a sphincter cloud? Yes. Okay. But I can- I can retaliate with my farts. <laughs> Whoa. Um, what is the silliest attack in the whole game, Mick? Um, you can get a diaper, uh, that randomly poops. 
and the bomb the poops are bombs okay. and every time they blow up everything on the screen gets poisoned but you just constantly hear fart sounds the entire fucking thing. There's actually f several poop items. How many human beings do you think there are out there in the real world that specifically get that item and get a boner every time they get it? <laughs> um, I bet there's enough. about 60 people. 60. You're gonna count them? Yep. 60 it is. Azeel versus Mom. Yep. Mom. Oh, wait, this is the end boss. I know, I know this much. Uh, kind of. Kind of not really. Oh. You'll s oh, uh, she's, she's trying to put uh, you out with her high heels. Yep. Oh, oh shit. Got it. Oh my god. We got her. We're oh done. my god. We're so done. So this is actually your mom? That was my mom. So, yeah, apparently, I don't know how the story goes, but I guess like you're in a box. You like crawl under the house or something, mm -hmm. and then she's trying to kill you. Oh, get the black people. Hold on. I'm gonna go in this room first. Get the blacks. Oh no! Oh, Krampus? Yes. Don't what? worry. Wow. He's dead. Goodbye, Krampus. That's weird. Get that. Get this? Get that. This is Krampus's head. Wow. <laughs> what does that have though? So you said get the black people? Yeah. Alright. Fate chosen, the negative. Correct. Go into that little prolapse there. Do you like that, Chris? It's prolapse? Yeah, do you like it when, when you have to look down somebody's bum hole? <laughs> not really. <laughs> I'm uh I'm not into that. <laughs> This is, I, I don't want to get Tomar in on this conversation. I don't <laughs> make him not? uncomfortable. Because <laughs> he's got a big tapeworm I prolapse. I like bums. <laughs> he likes bu he I likes like everything bums. inside and out. I'm just not that kind of male, dude. I don't like objectifying the women. What what if you, what if you were in love with someone and they they asked you? They're like, hey, could you please? Could you please That's open and clearly it? them just doing it? They're just doing it because you're my, just you just my you're, butthole. You're kind of forcing them to. That's why they do it. What? No. What if you were like, please, God, no, I don't want to, and they're like, if you love me, you That's will do it. That's toxic masculinity. You sick son of a bitch. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> they're what only they're... doing it because you're implying you would get me too so hard to be like my boyfriend. <laughs> you're using... Doesn't respect me. I asked him to look in my bum, and he refused. You're using, uh, reverse psychology. When you say no, it makes them want to do it, therefore you're forcing them with your toxic masculinity. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. Never. What about this item? Uh, is get that, that a monkey paw? Sure is. Aw, I like that. Uh, this is gonna make the game a little weirder, but that's hmm. fine. That's good. We could go for weird. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Ew, that's scary. <laughs> Oh, Fun. <laughs> Fun. I'm having a good time. I love this game. Mick, what are we doing now? I thought you beat Mother. We beat Mom, but now we go further. Now we get Mom dead. is not the end. You're in the belly of the beast. That's right. Actually, yes. Very oh, much so. Wow. I think we're inside of your mom? I think? Mm-hmm. I- I think- Whoa. That's not the first time you've said that to me. <laughs> that fucking color filter left the, the- this room is like blinding me. That's pissing me off, those little diagonal pixels. I hate that shit. This? Yeah. Diagonal they're pixels? They're maggots. I know, but they're diagonal oh, pixels. Those. You love them. There's something very deeply, uh, something off on the spectrum inside of me. When I see diagonal pixels, it makes me really pissed off. Chris, would you eat maggots? Mm-hmm. Good. When I eat maggots, good. <laughs> um, there are some people that would refuse. Did you hear recently they were saying uh, recently, peacefully? Shut up! Mm -hmm. Seriously, this is science. Okay. They said that uh, cockroaches have milk that it's very yeah. high in uh, protein. Yeah. Would you drink a cup of cockroach milk? Uh, no, because I'm I'm deeply afraid of them. What if you had some cereal and you really wanted to eat it, but you ran out of milk? Because your stupid girlfriend drank it all. <laughs> My stupid <laughs> bitch of a. Um, I still wouldn't because I don't eat cereal anymore. It's bad for you. Uh, that's not a good out. <laughs> it is uh, a good out. I'm no, trying not, not. I'm trying to lose weight. It, I'm, I've got. No, this is the fattest the, I've ever the, been. That's not what the question's about. The question Fine. is about the cockroach. What milk. if I told you? Not about having What if cereal. I told you okay. cockroach milk makes you lose weight? Would you drink a big, rich? Thick cup of cockroach goo. Um, okay, if you came at me and said this will make you lose like, weight. Seriously, yeah. a lot of weight. Okay, yeah, I'd be like, what does it taste like? I'll taste it. If it tastes good, I'll deal with it. 
Uh, but if it tastes bad, no. It's, it's just so like, you'd give it a little sip. You'd stick your tongue in it, like. Ugh. I would just try not to think about it. I would try to close focus. your eyes, hold your nose. I would focus on other things like taxes and <laughs> tax <laughs> evasion. <laughs> Yeah, the pain of fucking drinking cockroach <laughs> milk right out the window. The moment I start thinking about taxes, Jesus. Yeah. You could do, like, you could transplant an organ during that, man. The pain. I don't know where I'm going anymore. When you guys do your taxes, you get a, a like, an, a, like, it's, it's the one thing in my entire life that I hate doing the most, but it's not the worst thing to do. It's just that it's so boring and unnecessary yeah. and I don't want to do it. But I have to. No, it's definitely boring. I saw you pay somebody and else to fucking do that shit. Even say, even when you pay them to do it, you still have to do a bunch of work yourself to send them and organize not everything. Not only that, I didn't know this. I didn't know this until well into being an adult. Uh. But even if if your tax people fuck up, mm -hmm. guess who's responsible? Really? You. I thought the whole point of getting a tax. Person That's what I thought. But apparently, the if they mess oh. up, you still end up getting in trouble. So I was like, then why the hell am I hiring somebody? You know, I had a really shitty accountant one time. He was a complete asshole. <laughs> I hope he doesn't watch Oni plays. He does, and he's too stupid to put on a computer. Oh! He does taxes on the back of his fingers. Whoa, these are all the same. Oh, what a useless set of pills. Hey, hey. Remember grabbing peels? That was kind of like a little, little fun thing to say. Grabbing peels? Grabbing peels. Oh, because of Left 4 Dead? Yeah. I wish, uh... Is that the one where they have... What was it? Uh... Wow. Ham sandwich. No, that's, that uh, that's Team, Team Fortress. Fortress. Oh yeah, it's, and he also Same goes peels. You're such a noob, Mick. You're such a normie. You don't even know Team Fortress quotes. He says, "Lol." <laughs> 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 I used to have this recurring nightmare where the heavy oh, would hold me it. down and pull my ass open and <laughs> spit into it. <laughs> So you are- you have been into that! No, I said I oh. had a nightmare. Oh. That- that wasn't real. But, it should have been. Have you ever had a nightmare that gave you a boner? <laughs> um, yeah. You were really frightened, but at the same time you're like, ooh. Yeah. What- what happened? I'm not gonna say, cause people are gonna play psychiatrists and start shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people on the oh, internet it's are. It's true. They know your weakness, and then they go for the jugular. Yeah. The nugular. No. Health down. No. I don't want that. If your jugular was full of chicken nugget broth, <laughs> would you be sad? <laughs> chicken nugget broth. <laughs> well, I want to see this person that has <laughs> ch that chicken nuggets and mayonnaise in their fucking bodies. Bomb a night. wall, Mick. What's oh, okay. that? I just oh, had a, I just had God. a good feeling about bombing a wall in there. I uh, hate everything. All right, did, where, did which one? <laughs> up there, up, up, up. Did you guys see one that? Of those there was a left guy. To right, bro. There was a guy recently who tweeted, uh, oh well. he, he, he was- he was being kind of a, a, a loser, but, uh, what he tweeted I thought was funny, where he took, what do you call it, uh, it's like a brothy bowl of vegetables, I think it's called a hot pot or something? Yeah. And he said, uh, he just said it looked like gross dishwater, <laughs> I thought it was funny, cause it did. But people freaked. They lost their minds because and, it was like, "How dare you yeah, insult our you're culture?" You're so racist. But it's oh, just funny. It's not racist. <laughs> it <laughs> does. <laughs> it looked like this, it really just looked like Look, dishwater. I'm, I'm Chinese, but I'm the first person to admit I've walked down a street in New York City and I and I've smelled something and I was like, "Ooh, that's either really tasty Chinese food or really rancid garbage." <laughs> like I, sometimes I don't know, but no, yeah, that's no, just, that, sometimes that's a fact. great food just looks disgusting. Yeah, but no, you, you can't even say that now. Have you heard of durians? Durians? No. They're like these. They're called the king of fruits. So you're you're using money each time you do this. What is the object? I'm sp my luck must be garbage because normally this drops items, this drops hearts, this drops trinkets. You were born wrong. I am getting nothing. There oh. you go. Oh, if now I get more money. Ahead. There you go. Now I got 16 more tries. <sighs> But yeah, the only reason I said that guy was being a loser was because he was- he was bragging about being a vegan while he did it. Oh god. Oh yeah, he was pretty much saying like, People make fun of vegans, but look at this meat dish that looks <gasps> like dishwater. It's not a reason not to make fun of vegans. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that one picture of the guy having a piss at a urinal, and there's like 16 urinals right next to him, and there's just the guy who walks right over to him and stands- Right next to him. He stands next, he's like, I'm a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than him standing right behind him and saying that. Gertie. Oh, two Gerties. That's too much Gertie. What is Gertie? Gertie. Oh. Gertie's fully loaded. 
I'm gonna kill this one first. Oh. Since oh. this is the skull level, is this the final boss? Uh, is this was a skull level? I thought so. Oh no, the skull is just the boss in general, I think. Oh. Tomar. Well, that's all that means? I Tomar. think. Tomar. What? If you were watching, uh, Disney's Herbie Fully Loaded staring Lindsay Lohan on DVD at home, <laughs> and you decided to check out the deleted scenes because you loved it so much, and, uh, you, you watched like six deleted scenes that were all very innocent and nice, and it's just Lindsay Lohan making funny car jokes, right? But then one of the deleted okay. scenes was, was her placing her vagina onto the exhaust of the car <laughs> and blowing a bunch of black soot into it. And then she looks at Did the she camera. Did she like balloon up? Like, wait, no. Wait, wait. She looks at like the camera. Like she puts it on and then she takes it off and then a bunch of black soot no. comes out? <laughs> Ew! No, 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 no. It's blowing out black soot oh, and then she okay. puts her pussy onto it while it's doing it. Uh. And then she, she slowly looks at the camera and smiles and her teeth start turning black. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Black smoke starts coming out of her ears. Wait, you, you've had some time to think out this hypothetical. I was thinking about it while you were talking there. And then her, then her eyes start turning black, and then the scene's over, and it's never explained. And then, <laughs> they just cut to black, and there's no credits. That's just the what, end of the fucking movie. What even movie. is the hypothetical? The lights on the movie theater go up, and everyone's just sitting there waiting. <laughs> What is that? Get that. Get, Get the it? fidget spinner. Do you like how the little Satan guy, it looks like he's smiling? Yeah, he's mm, a little cute little the mark. Little smile. But yeah, Tomer, would you would you return the DVD to Amazon? Get this. Yeah, get that. Good. Because we get two more tier or two more hearts Aww. too. Tomer, what would you do? I'd keep it and I wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> you wouldn't tell anyone? Wouldn't tell how anyone. could you not tell no I Oh no, that's the skull yeah. level. Oh look that's at that. I'm he's getting at. look at yeah. that. He's getting pooed on. You can't put that. Was that on. that nightmare you had that gave you a bar? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Tomer, you wouldn't tell a single soul? No. Why not? i take it to the grave. That's really admirable if you would actually do that for no reason. I don't know, who would I- who would I talk to about- uh, who would I admit that I watched Herbie <laughs> on, on- Fully whatever, loaded. Fully loaded, too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you think there's like some kind of cursed version of certain movies where I mean obviously not really cursed hmm. But like a version like there was a, a cut by the director or some edit like angry editor From a like a major movie where they actually have like just a really fucked up version of some popular movie with the rock or some shit uh. It's so to get the footage from somewhere for whatever fucked up thing, right? Yeah Well, I mean, I'm just saying they have the footage Somewhere out there, there is footage of Lindsay Lohan in that exhaust yeah. <laughs> Do you think, uh, <laughs> the next big thing will be people taking, uh, B-roll footage and, uh, editing it, editing it, it into movies as they get sent out to theaters on the day so the studios don't know about it? So, like, halfway through a movie, The Rock will just say, like, the N-word and, like, <laughs> slap, like, a drink out of someone's hand for no reason? <laughs> I, I, you know what? Even if they don't make a version, the internet arcade? will make a version. Oh, <laughs> all right, I don't. You know what? Fuck all these machines. They're I, my luck is terrible. What oh you, my god, what a waste! What do you think the next big celebrity scandal is gonna be? Um. Oh, that was a Zelda noise. Has anything interesting happened with like the royal family recently? Yeah, the queen was a crushing her girls. corgi's brains with her high heels. Wait, really? What? No, you fucking retard. <laughs> That was an the accident. queen was crushing her corgi's head with high heels. You believe that, Tomar? <laughs> That's the most stupid. Okay, you I know just, what? You know what? I just really hope because the queen's oh. getting old. I just really hope <laughs> she'd get away with it because she's demented. That's... Yeah, I just hope she doesn't like f like fall down some stairs during a thing and die. Like that would be the war like on national television, you know? Because she's still out there in the what, public. If she died, would that make Prince Harry the new King of England? Mm, I don't know how it works. I don't get it. If it did, I think. What if? What if he? If, what if he tripped her when she was walking down the or not stairs? Prince Harry. I meant it's Prince like now I am king. I meant Prince Charles. 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 I absolve myself of the murder of my mother. He could do that, couldn't he? Have you seen the video of Prince Probably. Charles sneezing and the, like a little like a little kind of fetal sack like blooms out of his ear for a few seconds and gets sucked back in Excuse as he starts me? talking? Excuse me. What? What? 
Yeah, where he's now just I, like... Now I don't believe you. No, Why would you not believe, believe that? I wouldn't. Because of the corgi. You don't believe a little fetal egg bloom bloomed out of his ear? No, I don't. <laughs> and then sucked back in? No. It going boom, like that. I'm not gonna be tricked by you anymore, Chris. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tomar. I also didn't mean that you were a retard. Oh. Yeah, you did. I no. didn't. You're probably the, one of the smartest guys I know. No, I really want to know this. What? If, if the kid, let's say the prince mm. murders his mom, his right? His mom. In, in full view of the public. Yeah. And then he's next in line to be king. But I don't think he instantly becomes That's genocide. king. genocide. Wouldn't he still That's have matricide. to be like... Oh, yeah. Wouldn't he still have to be crowned? <laughs> he smothers her with a mattress. Ooh, it's not... <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's also... Is it, Get what, that. What's, what is the, and there's also probably a term for murdering a queen. I know regicide is murdering Oh, regicide is... Yeah, royalty. Yeah. Is regicide. Is regicide? Regicide yeah. is okay. when Reggie from Nintendo <laughs> runs in and slaps you on the head with a buck and kills you. <laughs> Why a buck? A really thick buck. A thick book that says, uh, Nintendo, the history of. Oh. Kill that eyeball. Ooh. Oh, that's a cool... Oh, you know does what? It, My range is so bad! Doesn't Nintendo date back to, like, the late, uh, 19th century? Uh, when they were, like, just, like, a, a card, company. card company. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. They used to sell cards yeah, of those, Reggie. You know those cards, uh, I forget what they're called. They were the- they were the- when B Reggie was a little toddler. He was, uh, he was- Reggie was not alive when Nintendo was found. He was, he was a little sure. toddler. They, 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 they prematurely so. birthed him by like 10 years. <laughs> or 17 years. And then they had little angel cherub pictures of him. Chris, what do you think of this little- this little hand? It's a little- it's like I like it. Little, 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 little. That's cool. It's like tickling, like it. tickling like, your feet. I don't like that it's- it's not interactive. Chris, if you had a hand, a severed hand, but mm. it could still move. Yeah. And it was totally independent. Mm. Like, you'd have to keep it in a box, otherwise it would crawl it's away. It's my own hand, and I can move no, it? No, no, it's not your hand. Oh, okay. you, you just have an extra hand. It's somebody else's hand, it's you don't like know whose hand it is. So I, I can't control it. No, it's no, no, like no. Thing no. From it Adam's does whatever family. it wants. Yeah, it's like Thing from Adam's Family. But it's, it's got more of an arm. Mm. Would you... would you let it close to your wiener? Or probably would you not. Be, would you be scared it, it would, would like... It would probably, like, squeeze as hard as it could and, like... Like, if it knew what it was, you could just, like, tap it. Just, like, smack... <laughs> so it couldn't actually grab... You'd have to, like... Really have good reflexes to it, actually get a hold of it. It has the it's ability. It's so small too, you know. If it like, has fingernails, it could <laughs> like pinch your helmet with its fingernails and like kind of cut you. So I wouldn't risk it. Also, I don't want to. I'm not horny for someone else's like severed arm. <laughs> also, <laughs> that's um, not your thing. Why not? When I was five, I remember having a weird <laughs> oh, fantasy me. where I could take off my own head and carry it around. I used to think about that when I was a little kid. Why would you do that? I don't, I what just would you do with that? I just like put it on the ground and hide my head places. Oh no! And then what would you do with your body? Run around and look at it. <laughs> you can't look at it. Oh wait, I you guess you face you your, head look at it look at it. your head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Steam sale. Oh what? shit. What? That item was called Steam Sale, fifty percent off. Yeah, that's so, kind of funny. Is that just a gag item? Yeah, it's like you know, giving a little love to the, <laughs> giving a little love. Giving a little love. Act, so, but doesn't have any effect. Yeah, it does. Oh, it, oh my God, I'm getting my ass handed to me. What it's is, uh, it, everything's fifty percent off. Fifty percent off. Oh, actually, the price is in the shop. So yeah, fifty percent. Do cool. I pay the man or do I kill the man? Kill him. Fuck him. Wow. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, he gave me a little pill. Should I eat the pill? Yeah. Bombs oh, are key. Oh my god, I got 88 bombs! Ooh, Wait, what? how the hell did I have 88 keys? Whoa. Oh, it changed your keys? Yeah, it swaps out my keys with bombs. Oh. But now I've got many a bomb. Oh no, invisible? Yeah, but it's okay. How do you see what you're doing? I can't. Oh. I just have to imagine. Really? Oh fuck. You can't hurt those guys unless their heads pop out. But I also don't want to get hit by you fucking oh, that's a cool the laser! Idea. That, and is that go, go, toxic go, go, go. sludge? Uh, yeah, but I can fly, so it's oh. not so bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come Nick, on, you're pretty good. Come man. on. Uh -huh. Let's see what you got there. There we go. What okay. is what is your favorite Queen song? Um, it smells like Teen Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. So I would like to hear him sing that. That would be awesome. Yeah. Did, Did you see a Bohemian pretty, Rhapsody? Like, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think it deserved. Best picture yeah. at the Golden it was, Globes. It won Best Picture? Yeah, at the Golden Globes. No reward, no award ceremony is who, actually true anymore. Who cares yeah. about the Golden Globes? I was gonna say though, it, like it's such a, to me, it was like such a like 
very average biopic where it's like yeah. they're so focused oh. on like covering all the events of like Queen and Freddie Mercury that like there's no actual time to have anything interesting happen yeah. with any of the characters. And also it's like if you have a 100% accurate biopic, they're not like no one's life is structured like a good movie. Yeah. yeah. So but uh there was I, that I one guy. The, I thought the live aid part at the end was like the corniest shit ever. <laughs> what Why? happened? Were they were they cut to like the the, the call center for Live Aid and like, nobody's calling, oh no! And then as soon as Freddy starts playing and the <laughs> band gets back together, like, Ooh. everything just comes together and they're, they're all celebrating in the call center. <laughs> Whoa, that, that's Satan? Yeah. It felt really like, like a campy, like, 80s movie. Yeah, I mean, I like some of it, but it definitely wasn't that great. So wait, this is the first time you fight this thing. Is he the ultimate baddie? Is that uh, Lucifer himself? Yeah. Form two, form two. <laughs> is multiple forms. <laughs> this is like Dragon Ball. How's he able to lift both his legs up? Listen, he's Satin. He can do the special thing. He can shuck on my. He's little... just sitting on a big toilet, and you're underneath his toilet, and he's just <laughs> smashing you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think uh, I think we're forced into uh, to end here. Okay. I don't. I think this is it. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. We're going even deeper. Ooh. And there's the toilet. I told you. Uh, no toilet paper. <laughs> What's the worst thing you ever wiped your ass with because you had no toilet paper? A leaf. That's it? Yeah. Like, what, 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 what do you want me to say? Like, sandpaper? Why, why yeah. would I do that? A, a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I scooped that. <laughs> All I had was a fucking knife. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> um, My friend once, uh, he, uh, he tried to poop on me from a tree branch when we were kids. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Which, which country was this? This is in Seattle. This is in Seattle. Yeah, okay. this is my friend Nate. Anyways, uh, we were like... I don't know, we were like... Six? We were five. like really horny. We were real horny. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he, um, he tried to uh, poo on me from a tree. And that's cute. Yep, he missed, so it was fine. Mm -hmm. But then he had boys wiped his... Will be boys. Yeah, boys will be boys. Boys <laughs> will be boys, will be boys. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so he ended up um, having to wipe his butt because we were still out in the woods, mm. and all they had oh fuck poison me. ivy all they had no 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 it wasn't poison ivy but it was a stinging nettle leaf ah. now, I don't know some stinging nettle leaves look like normal leaves wow and nettles are very painful yeah well they itch they itch oh they're visible oh. I got uh, I, I fell off my bike when I was younger and dead. fell into a bush of nettles it was the worst pain yeah. Yeah, your whole body just stings. My fucking friend Martin is a weird trickster. He, when I was younger, he used to be like, if you grab a nettle and if you don't care that it will sting you, it won't sting you. And I was like, that's obviously a lie. And then he did it. No! And he kept doing it. He kept grabbing it. And he wasn't even doing the thing where you grab it from the bottom and move your hand upward. He was like going up and down. And I don't know how he was doing it without getting stung. He was trying to get me to sting myself. He what was a like, dick. He was like, it only stings you when, when it senses fear. And I, and I believed him for a while. I don't know, like, I don't know how he did it. Dude, when I was day. a kid, I was such an idiot. Maybe he was just getting stung and just, like... No, hold. he was, because you, you can tell when you get stung, it, like, a little red bump comes up pretty quickly. Yes, that makes... that's true. But, when, uh, I was, when I was in school, these kids, uh, this was, like, middle school, too, so not even, like, a little kid. Yeah. But some guys were like, hey, look, if you squeeze the back of this orange peel into your eye, it tingles. <laughs> yeah, I get... It. that's citrus acid burning you. <laughs> did you... wait, did they do that to you? No, but oh. you could just... Let citrus acid... <laughs> look, I was... I, I... I figured, yeah, maybe it does tingle. I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, it's blinding me, it tickles. <laughs> Yummy. I was a dumb kid. If you look into a mirror, you can see your own brain. Through you your eye holes. Your, if you look through. really close. Yep. If you put a lighter up to your eye, you can see behind your eye. If you look down into a lighter while it's lit, <laughs> the smoke will go into your eyes and make you see ultimate darkness. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> you literally would see ultimate darkness because your eyes would be burned out of your fucking skull. Okay. Oh no. Here's a really neat uh Oh fuck off. Tomar, do you ever hear of the the, the eye syringe smoke prank? Syringe smoke? The next time your spouse is asleep, get a syringe and like blow smoke into the syringe, right? Suck in the smoke. And then when they're asleep, just slightly open their eyes, the smidgen a smidgen of a bit. And if you shove the syringe into their cornea. Oh my god. Through the pupil, it won't hurt them. Just Fill Are you talking about a lobotomy? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you fill up the eyeball with smoke, and when they wake up, they'll go, Oh, I'm blind, I'm blind. They'll start, like, running into walls. 
and having nosebleeds and shit. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what? Where, where, did, where did this come from? This very specific mm. torture. It's not. It's a prank. And if you uh, if you say I did it, you're, I'm the Fuck. reason you're blind. They'll start crying. It's really fucking through. cool. <laughs> Jesus. But only do it if you Fuck have off. a really big syringe. Sorry. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This one health shit is not. Don't do that. Okay. You know what? I'm. I, Whoa! Yeah, I'm Chris, getting my. Are you saying you've done this to somebody? Tomar, if I did, I would be in prison or, or <laughs> therapy. So you're saying that actually would blind a person for real, like? Forever? If you shoved the syringe into their eyeball. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you break that little film across your eyeball, it, it, that, does that heal? I don't know. How you specifically come up with, with doing what? smoke? Is that like something someone's actually done no, before? No, I just thought about it. Like, it, your pupil is essentially just a hole. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. How is that crazy? That's innovative. In I was innovative. killed. So sociopathically Aww. innovative. <laughs> Chris, can I pee? Yeah. Like, right here in my pants. <laughs> I can get you a bag to pee in. Yes, please. Okay. Just wrap it around my pee hole. Right here. Thank you. Pee in that. I will. Hold on. It's a paper bag, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't gonna hold it very well. If you, if you pee lightly. If I do it really fast and run to the bathroom, it won't leak through the bag. If you hold the bottom of it so it doesn't break. <laughs> just just leak it. This, this is warm <laughs> pee. <laughs> All right, Chris. Oh. Oh. All right, Chris, this is round two. Yeah. I was just messing about the first time. I want you to pick the character that I choose to play with. Oh. Who would you like to see die? I like him. Right. Yeah, yeah. There's a guy? Yeah. Look at those little nipples. <laughs> little, it looks like a little <laughs> surprised face. <laughs> Samson. <Ooh. laughs> That is so iconic. That's now he has right now. legs. Now he has all the weaknesses of a legged being. So this round is going to be very different because I can't fly. Oh. Ooh. The spider. What does he do? Does he just secrete? He spits out fucking blood tears. My favorite enemies in all RPGs <sighs> are the ones that secrete. <laughs> <laughs> Name the top ten secreting enemies. Um, top three. Top three secreting enemies. Watchmojo.com presents. <laughs> Welcome to Watchmojo.com. Top ten secreting enemies in video games. I, I will say, uh, Watchmojo's female narrator has a very wonderful voice. Yeah, do you want to meet her? No. I wouldn't have anything to say, except I think you've got a very nice voice. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I heard that voice, I thought it was actually like a text-to-speech thing. Yeah, I know, it's like, it's perfect. Yeah. It's too perfect. It's, 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 it's kind of yeah. She's kind of a fake bitch. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, no, I don't mean that. They're watching right now. They're watch mojoing. The the lady is. I wonder uh, when like, uh, top ten times Chris was a dick. Top ten times the female narrator on Watch Mojo was caught <laughs> shitting in a public urinal. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that? No. Never? No. Never no. in your life you shat in a urinal. No. no. I absolutely have. Mick, you're a fucking animal. No, you, listen, this is this is a true story, and, and I hope nobody that I know listens to this. But I was- this is just like a month ago, I think. Um, <laughs> One I, time I was at a family <laughs> reunion with all of my friends and family. I shat in the Hawaiian punch, which everyone drank from. But then... <laughs> I, s I got up and gave a great speech with a standing ovation and everybody clapped. Then I proceeded then to I masturbate her, I bowed to everyone, I know. Wait, what? And then I bowed and then everybody <laughs> saw the big brown stain on my ass. Oh, what's that? The whip worm? Yeah. Ooh. But anyway, go on. You shot any urinal. No, I didn't. I'm saying, oh, I have done that. But I was Get saying, that. like, uh, about a month ago, Ooh. I was at somebody's, I, I was at the gym Ooh. and uh, I got a stomach ache. And I had to drop something off at somebody's house. Mm. Now I thought I had enough time to That's drop. That's not a euphemism, right? No. Okay. This is totally for real. Right. So I dropped it off, but they weren't home, so I couldn't use their bathroom. So I was like, ah, I'll just walk home. But I, I made such a mistake. I really, I gave myself too much credit. About one block down from their house, I was like, oh no, this isn't gonna work. This isn't. This is bad. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna make it home. There's no way. So then it got to the point where. You know when you need to poo so bad, you start actually just clenching your butt cheeks together yeah. to hold it in? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's coming out, but you're, you're literally yeah. physically plugging it in. 
and like every four steps it would be like that oh, your knees go weak and you start to kind of go dizzy a little bit you're sweating yeah. you're sweating so anyways I've I was like this there. is not gonna work there's no way I start looking around for bushes I start but this is the middle of the day that's the problem if it was at night I would have had any problem at all but I start looking around there's no good bushes there's no I saw a, a car park where they <laughs> left their gate open and yeah. I was debating if I would just like go into the back of their fucking parking lot <laughs> like yeah. in the corner behind a car and just as quickly as I could no go um, so finally I saw a dumpster by a school luckily school was out of session or it was in session and they weren't outside and I, I <laughs> went behind a dumpster yeah and I had to like push the dumpster like a foot so I could actually get behind it Wow. And, but as that was happening, I don't know if I'm going into too much detail, but as that was happening, it was it was just coming out like the whole <laughs> time. It was it was terrible. And I didn't because my pants weren't all the way off. Like I didn't want to poo on my pants. Yeah. So I ended up putting my arm against the wall and one on the dumpster and my legs like up and I put my foot up like against <laughs> like the, one of the things like the little wall area. Yeah. And I was like holding myself up like Spider-Man just like fucking diarrhea <laughs> pouring out of my ass. <laughs> it was really bad. I felt really bad and all I had I had a, a plastic bag and mm. I had some receipts in there. <laughs> and that's all I had. And these receipts, I didn't. I, I never thought about it, but they just slip right off. They're so slippery. Like it wasn't doing any wiping at all. Ah. Uh, anyways, the walk home was uncomfortable. I'm sorry, Mick. It's all right. I'm a grown man. One of the worst say, things. Yeah. With me, it's like my don't body, tell anybody that story. By the way, body, <laughs> <laughs> it was really embarrassing. You don't want that in the in the stream. <laughs> Mick, I like your BC story. No. Um, when I was younger, my dad oh, thought it would be real off. funny to prank me. He put cling film on the toilet, right? Yeah. So he thought that when I'd piss onto it, all the pee would bounce back up on me. <laughs> but instead, I diarrhea onto it, <laughs> and it flowed down into my pants. Oh no. <laughs> and then I got an infection. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Did your dad feel bad about it? Uh, yeah, he was like, I'm so sorry, the only way to regain your trust now is for me to do the exact same, and then he did it too. <laughs> really? Walked, dude, right then, in front of him. And then we were both in the hospital beds, holding hands. <laughs> that sounds made up as shit. No. That really happened. <laughs> I think- Tomorrow, maybe. you look really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, like, you really wanted that to be true. No, what? No! <laughs> You didn't even look at me. <laughs> I could hear it in your voice, okay? You sounded um, like a child being told Santa Claus isn't real. Spoiler, Santa Claus isn't real. No, because I want to- I always want to trust people, but Chris has ta taught me not to trust people. He, that's- that's- he's a big condition. <laughs> that, that's a great fr- that, what a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> I just want to say, you're- Chris, you're one of my good friends. You taught me- you taught me not to trust not people. To trust. Never to trust. Get that. Okay. The body, I feel all. I just got a lot of hearts. The Binding of Isaac is the first game Edward McMillan ever made. Edmund. Edward. Edward Mc... Edward. Top ten times Mc Edward Mulligan. McMillan was caught changing his name illegally. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he does. Chris, do you like your name? Chris Christopher O'Neill. Yeah, do you like that name? When I was younger, I did not like Christopher. So what did you want to change your name to? Nothing. I just didn't like Christopher. But then I grew up, and I, I, I actually do kind of like it now. I still don't. I like it because you can say- You still yeah. don't like the name, Christopher. <laughs> you can walk up to girls in bikinis and say, Yo, dude, I'm Topher. You know, that is Topher Grace's actual name. Christopher. It's Topher, yeah. Yeah. Or Christopher, sorry. And you can also walk up and say, Hey, my name is Pistopher. Want me to piss near you? And all the girls always respond. <laughs> they clap. They just respond. Everybody clap. I won't Everybody say how clap. they respond. They take their shirts off and clap their boobs together for you. <laughs> <laughs> One of the funniest things you can do is get a girl to clap her boobs together after you pour super glue in between them. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> I'm You're just creative. You're sick. <laughs> and then they From become the mine that brought you Wait, aren't there super still blue more pills in that claps. one room? What's that? Aren't there still more pills in that room you exploded? Yeah, but Tomar, I, I got booted. Think about it. Back. Are you thinking about it? If you pour super glue in between a girl's big breasts, right? What if you did it between your big breasts? <laughs> They're not big enough. <laughs> They're not. They're almost, but not Shut quite. Shut up. But if you push 
if you pour super glue in between breasts, right? Okay. And if, and if you push them together really hard until the nipples meet right in the center, it is a perfect one boob now. As long as it stays clamped together. <laughs> you gotta like hold it together for a good couple hours. Well, yeah, but that's what, uh, vices are for. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> You also need a holder still with duct tape, yeah, and nails, and barbed wire. I hope you have children, and I hope you have daughters. I hope their boobs are huge. The day I have daughters, and the day someone sends me this this exact footage will be the day I feel really guilty. Yeah, that's right. Some psycho is gonna remember what you said here, and they're gonna hunt hunt down your daughters. I think about that quite a lot, where, um, you know how people like Steven Spielberg and movie directors will be really, really, really good? Yeah. And then it, it almost seems like the second they have kids is the second their, their like, creativity <laughs> gets ruined. Because they're trying to make shit to impress their kids now. See, I think it's partially that. I also think it's partially that they are so tired. Mm. When you got kids, man, your whole, I mean, I just imagine they're not sleeping anymore. They yeah. can't, it's just hard to be creative. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, no. I could be wrong. I just, uh, I want to have kids someday, but... I just know it will ruin my life. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Having a kid ruins your life. I was gonna say, like, that's the reminder I get, like... I mean, like, you love it. You love it dearly with more than... Like, you, you cannot possibly love have, anything more than these, your own child. these neighbors that I think just, like, secretly hate us because, like, we're the one couple in our apartment complex that... Don't have kids? That don't have kids. Yeah. And they always see how happy we look. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm pretty mad at you for not having kids, too. Man, fuck you. You know, they say that single or single people live longer, li healthier lives. Well, Met single or childless? Well, I think that, uh, fine. I think the tiers are single is most healthy, uh, married but without children is, is probably second, and then married with children, you're done. I just think about when I first got my dog, when she was a puppy, she was seriously the most annoying, unlikable, stupid, she just wouldn't stop crying, she wouldn't stop shitting, pissing, Fuck. ruining my day every day, breaking shit, tearing shit up, you know? And then, now she's good, but dogs mature quickly, right? So if you have a baby, you essentially have to deal with that for like three or four years straight. And if you have multiple babies, it's worse. But then again, you do love it with all of your heart. But then again, you have to. Chris? Huh? <laughs> what yeah. is wrong with my chin? <laughs> look like oh, yeah, fucking happened? you look like the kid from uh, One Punch Man. <laughs> Get that. Okay. Get the question fart. Oh no! What does that do? I fucking hate these. Well, anyway, you know, we'll oh, be fine. We'll be it fine. delays. Yeah, it's fine. We'll be fine. Oh, but you can choose where they shoot. Uh, kind of. They they shoot in the direction that I'm facing at the time. <laughs> but they can run into them too. Like that, that is very strange. So this is, this yeah. is the only attack you have now, right? Yes. Oh shit. It's that's, right. that's definitely not as good as what you did. It's at. fine. It's fine. That's part of it. But we'll figure out how to use this. Why are you blue? Uh, cause I got the anti-gravity tears. Okay. That makes you blue? I think, yeah. Oh. Oh. I like the Binding of Isaac because it lets you experience life through the veil of another character. You know? I'm out of here. You got a goat head? Oh! Ooh. That means, uh, that, that was an item I guess I got. I just went in to get out, um, but that means, uh, we're gonna get more Satan rooms. Oh. Like Leo and Satan? Like the original show? Like the original show, created by, uh, one, Edmund McMillan. One YNG. <laughs> Chris, if Edmund McMillan wanted to make a game called mm -hmm. Leo and Satan, mm -hmm. would you let him? But it had nothing to do with your Leon Satan. I'd obviously be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> what if he paid you? What if he paid you five hundred dollars? I'd be pissed. He'd be like, "I'll give you, I'll give you the credit for the name of Leo and Satan." They're like, fuck you. That's not good enough. <laughs> but I know he wouldn't do that because he understands. He understands how to be good. Do you think there are famous people that like your stuff? Um, I don't. Do you know. think Tom Cruise? Really likes your your cartoon. You think Jack Black like, watches uh, Leo plays. Satan with his kid? Yeah, definitely not. Because Oni plays is not liked by children. But wouldn't that be weird? Wouldn't that be fucking crazy? Yeah. If you were like, if you met Patrick Stewart for the first time and he was like, "Oh yes, I really enjoyed watching <laughs> your um, Nazi in the prison cartoon." I'd be like, "Shut up, Baldo," and slap him on the head. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking, um... One time, I had a... Hollywood, what do you call it? Agent. When I was much younger, when Leon Satan first got went viral and shit, I got calls from this supreme doucher, and uh, at the time I trusted him. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, um, let me guess. You don't like him anymore. That's just, just I'm just guessing. He was guessing a typical here. Hollywood slimo, but uh, basically he blew smoke up my ass, and he was just telling me about all these celebrities that watched it. But the one guy, like he's probably just lying. But one guy he said definitely liked it was the guy from. Uh, what do you call it? Cabin in the Woods? You know, the stoner in that movie? Uh... I mean, I know the character. I don't know who that actor is. Me neither. So <laughs> yeah, me neither. But he was like, he, he is a huge fan of you. And then, I was like, okay. But I don't- I, I don't, don't believe him anymore. <laughs> it's like, okay, He, he says anything. He just says anything to- he's just a Hollywood fan. <laughs> uh, should I get this? Yes. So that is just a random item. Uh... It's like a slot machine, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it gives you... Oh, fuck. So this is where we have some real stakes here. Do I sacrifice a heart for an item I don't even know what it is? Mm. Do yes. I? Do I? Give it a little kiss? Give yes. so many hearts. Give it a little kiss? Uh, okay. Guppy's hairball! It's a guppy item. Yeah. This is good. To the people who just got annoyed at censoring the word fa- <laughs> Uh, we have to or we get demonetized. I don't want to censor it. Sorry. You get demonetized for that? What, yeah. What's the list of words? I feel like the the word list keeps growing. Well, literally anything naughty. So if you say fuck, shit, piss, YouTube's algorithm picks up on your your tech your, your speech to text, right? Yeah. It, it'll convert your speech into text. It will read it and it'll say, oh, he said this word. Flag the video. What Don't. if you say frag it? It'll probably not get it. So we should we we could just make up uh, variations of the words. Yeah. Like uh, cunt. <laughs> it can be knut. 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 Captain Knut. That sounds like something I would do. Um, fa can be... Faget! <laughs> retard. Retard! I love how every single thing you're saying sounds like a retard I was saying it. <laughs> I don't know what kind of retards you know. <laughs> you. That's a good point. <laughs> no, yeah! You're just making a lot of work for your editors right now. <laughs> They're beeping at the first ones, but leaving in the Ooh. second ones. Should I or buy or don't buy? Get it, get it, yeah! It has been got. What does it do? It cuts my head off, and my body can run around and shoot. Really? Or my head can can? Oh no! I think my body runs around and attacks people while my head just shoots. That's cool. Yeah, I'll do it on the balls. Well, I like that. Good draw. I got it for you, Chris. Thank hey, I never asked you yeah. about Christmas. Yes. Did you get any good gifts? Um. Uh, I think past the age of 24, I stopped caring about that, so I- I just... I turn- my brain turns off at the gift-giving process, because I don't really like you doing it. You just black it. out when they give you something? I mean, I- I like getting stuff from my mom and dad, like, it's usually art stuff, that's, they'll get me sketchbooks and that's pens. That's the secret to incapacitating Christopher O'Neill, yeah. give him a nice gift. He just blacks out, falls over. <laughs> he just goes possum. <sighs> I, I just- no, it makes me feel kinda... I just don't... It doesn't add to Christmas for me to give or receive gifts. It's, it feels forced at this point. That is something I fucking hate, that every year I gotta go- Like, I just know, like, great, now I get to blow a whole bunch of money on- And I have to write, write a list of these things. And it's always stressful, cause you're yeah, like- Like, do I get someone something nice, yeah. and, and then when they get me something shitty, I'm gonna feel like an idiot? Yeah. So I, I just- I wish that everyone just kind of agreed not to do well, that anymore. It is true, cause if, if somebody give- like, you give somebody something, and it's like, kinda, like, what a- like a book. Yeah. And then they give you something beautiful, like a, a new computer. Yeah. You're just like, oh, I'm s yeah. sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like... It all depends on who- who you're dealing with. I- th What Jaxie has kinda taught me with gift giving, she's like... You just- If you think Ooh. of something that someone would like, or that somebody would appreciate you get it for them but you but Oop. not only do you not expect anything in return yeah. like you, sh you just shouldn't like you shouldn't even want anything in return like and I, I I like that philosophy I agree that's true but I know a lot of stinky people who they they do they're, they're like really like they'll look at your gift like what <laughs> really this is this is what you got me oh, yeah, I hate that aspect of it too so fuck 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 
I just, the way I see Christmas is I want to spend time with my friends and family. That's all I want from Christmas. I feel like the, not only do I not like the gift giving process and like all that shit that I just explained, I don't like what it does to the world around me. I don't like the hype building up to Christmas yeah. with crowds everywhere. Every day should be Christmas. We should be giving yeah. gifts to people every day. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're not wrong, but, yeah. but I just, I don't like. I, I fucking hate Bla gifts to Tomar Black every Friday. Day. <laughs> it's in America, Black Friday is the most stupid shit in the world. You know, that's the thing too. It's like, know. oh, this is the giving holiday when everybody goes to a mall and tramples yeah, each other no. over like the next amiibo. It's just dirty. It doesn't feel right. Yeah. It felt more right when I was younger and I didn't feel like understand that's anything. That's the thing that society doesn't often like to acknowledge is that often in our like, in our like quest to be like a, an amazing friend or family person or whatever. We're usually shitting on other people who are trying to do the exact same thing. Yeah. You know? But we feel justified because it's like, I'm doing this for my kid. Yeah. Like, like that's that's what's going through the head of these people that like murder each other over tickle me elmos, right? <laughs> They're like, I'm not gonna let my son down, but damn it, you will. Like, yeah. yeah. I just it feels so dirty. <laughs> it, like yeah. especially since the hype to Christmas now is like three or four months in advance. God, yeah. It feels dirty. It doesn't feel right. Yeah. I rather I just I would rather ignore all of that and just sit with my family. If and we have resurrected a nice time. Santa Claus and he came back from the dead and yeah. he saw what Christmas has become, do you think he'd be disappointed? Um, Coca Cola would be very uh, happy. <laughs> Actually, he'd probably be, you know what, he'd be disappointed at first, but then he'd get so many endorsements mm -hmm. that he'd fucking love it. Probably he, right. He'd change his tune. Are you, so you're talking about the actual Saint Nicholas? That's right. Okay. I'm saying he'd see us and be like, oh my go oh my goodness, what have you done to my beautiful he'd, he'd holiday? Just be, he'd just be like, am I really that fat? <laughs> yeah. Who probably, drew this picture? He was probably some skinny black guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chris Rock. <laughs> Yeah, is there a movie where Chris Rock gets to become Santa Claus? Can we please do that? I, okay, let's do it. We can. Uh, and then there's all these jokes like, wait a minute, you're Santa. There's like a, a little white girl, and she's at the mall, and she's like, but Santa Claus isn't. And he's like, what? <laughs> what? Say it. Say yeah. it. <laughs> you gotta say it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like him at all. It Who's this like Adam a, Sandler? It, it, Who's this knockoff bull like Chris Adam Rock Sandler we fired? Chris Rock. <laughs> Adam Sandler black facing Chris Rock. <laughs> I feel like he'd be fine with that. He'd be he I think he they're friends. They're friends? They're friends. You and me are friends. They were in that movie Grown Ups together, that epic cinematic classic. Even Grown Ups 2. Chris Rock was in that. Have you was seen Chris Rock in that? Y yeah, wasn't uh, he? I don't know. I think so. I guess all I actually remember was Charlie Day. That's I don't remember anyone else in that movie. I rem uh Mal Paul Blart's in it. Paul Fart Blart Paul. Cop. Yeah. I want uh an action figure of Paul Blart. Mal Are they Cop. ever gonna finish the tri the trilogy of the Paul Blart films? <laughs> was there? Oh, there's two. <laughs> I know. I remember the zookeeper? The last one. No one talks about that anymore. <laughs> Yeah, whatever happened to Zookeeper? <laughs> <laughs> That's the last question you're gonna ask on your deathbed. It's like, <laughs> what whatever you, happened to Zookeeper? What would you do if you found out they made horribly shitty, terrible films like that just to hide uh, secret, like, treasure, nice. treasure maps oh, inside yeah. of the frames of the movie? Like, um, like National Treasure. Yeah. Well, why would you want to hide a treasure map in a movie? Because it's just place. like the clues. Tomar, it's the clues. You are you are an eccentric billionaire that owns fifteen thousand jets all lined up next to each other, and you're like, I've got too much money. I'm gonna do something fun. I'm gonna make a movie and hide a treasure map in it. And if people find it, they deserve the money and, and get to keep it. It's gonna be about a mall cow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Paul Blart mall cow. <laughs> That's why the movies are so all shit. All the clues are hidden in the fucking dialogue. It's because they're eccentric billionaires who don't have experience making movies. That they buy like stocks yeah, and shit. You gotta bring in your resident Paul Blart expert, yeah. Brock, Brock Baker. That, Brock Baker. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's true. He has a shrine in his home of Paul Blart. I think he has a life-size statue that he That's prays to every day. That's pretty sick if you ask, Brady. It is pretty sick. It's very sick. I like that thing. It's going... Oh. Gloop. 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 Oh, fuck. I forgot. It's poison on the ground. Poison on the ground. Poison on the ground. You know That's that item what? you had me get at the beginning? That big uh, metal mask? Yeah. Um, when I get hurt, I have a chance of dropping blue hearts.
Oh, it's actually quite good. That's not a bad little one one power you got. Poison on the ground. That's a cool song. Poison on the ground. I've poured poison on the ground. Look at what I found. Ow, it's a tumor. Poison. Boom, boom. On, on the ground. ground. Oh. oh, shit. Uh, um, in my mouth. Uh, in my face. And wait, wait, we need to add a backing, like, instrument melody. So it's like. Yep. 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 It is interesting in so many songs how there's always like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, why don't Absolutely. Every, why isn't there some dude being like, nah, nah, stop. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. 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 <laughs> I would love that. Nah. nah stop. Nah. <laughs> But Shut like up. really chill. Yeah. And maybe he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Nah. No, nah. nah, okay, yeah. That's like, yeah. Nick, someone's gonna actually steal that really good <laughs> idea now. <laughs> Have you ever made a joke online and you're like, ha ha ha, funny joke, and then it becomes a meme later, and then you don't get any of the credit for it? <laughs> I feel like you. I feel that like you're speaking. This specific. sounds very specific. I feel like it happens on Oni Plays all the time. <laughs> I bet it does. The one I remember oh, fuck, was I we hurt. made a joke about uh, Zero from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, and his famous quote is just the letter E, just E, because he was making yeah. like a shrieking noise. And then like a month or two later, there was a meme of Markiplier's face looking creepy, like Lord saying Farquaad e. saying E, and it was right after. It was like a huge meme. That was all you. That was that. I take full credit. And guess what? No money. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. Yeah, where's my meme pay? Yeah, where's my paycheck? Where's my fat dueler? <laughs> I want to create a currency called the dueler. And it has a little Ferris Bueller head on it. <laughs> Should Bue I get this guy? Bueller's duelers. Yeah. yeah. I hope Ferris dark Bueller bum. grows up yeah. and gets killed in a car crash. Watch this dark bum. Yeah. Steals hearts. Steals. Yeah. So wait for your benefit or just? I just yeah. don't. I don't like the the character Ferris Bueller, and I don't like Matthew Broderick. You know, there is something like I don't. I don't hate it. I just don't know how it became some revolutionary classic. And I'm from the '80s. Yeah. Look, all the John Hughes stuff is a revolution. I don't know. I get. I he get Breakfast just, Club. He I, was on fire. I don't know. Yeah. Home Alone. Was that him? Yeah. Yep. Really? He wrote it. Yeah. He did all the Home Alones, in fact. Or at least he... Yeah, he even did three. Yeah, yeah, that's really, really bizarre to me. I don't know if he necessarily... It's in his filmography. I don't know if he necessarily was the lead writer I think he it, was. That's another yeah. thing. He was another guy, I think, uh, he just got shit after a while, maybe because he, he had did, kids. He did all the Beethoven movies, too. Did he really? Yeah. What? That is a surprise. There's a scene in Beethoven where he like steps, like and faces away out. from the camera, and he lifts his tail. And he's got a huge <laughs> dog asshole. As I say, I know John uses at least has a credit with Baby's Day Out. Again, I don't know if he's the scriptwriter or not. Who's the director of that Kevin Spacey movie where he plays a cat? Oh, and nine Christopher lives. Walken plays the same character from Click. Uh, does he really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. He plays like he plays like an Oriental Chinese uh, shopkeeper <laughs> he plays guy. Plays a disoriented Wait, Asian what man. The hell? What is with Christopher Walken playing like Chinese guys? He he. Well, look, he plays basically the 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 version, the white version of that. Oh, I see. He plays the guy from The Simpsons that says, "And it comes with a free frog. Yeah. It comes with a free frog." <laughs> Yeah. Why do you? Why you know, I recently watched um. I recently watched Goldmember. Yeah, that's on, a great film. Yeah. No, but do you remember the beginning credits when they have all the actors yeah. like Tom Cruise and shit? Yeah. My favorite was Danny DeVito as Mini Me. <laughs> yeah. Because Kevin Spacey does a really like he does a decent oh. uh, uh, fucking Doctor Evil, yeah. but then all of a sudden they cut over to Mini Me. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love that shit. No, like, that. screw you, asshole! <laughs> He's got an Uzi. Yeah. I'm going to hell. I Ooh. totally forgot about that part of Goldmember, but I think that This was... is like one of the best parts, honestly. Yeah, no, that's that's one of my... Like, I don't... I really... I'm not a big Goldmember fan. I think it's brilliant, but... Should I get any of this, or...? Yeah, get it all. What? Get it all! They're... Get okay. it all! You told me to. Yeah. So here's the question, then. The Book of Belial. So I just sacrificed a couple hearts here. I can only take one of these items with me. Which one should I take? Uh, I have the, the nail. Book. I the have book. the book. Yeah. All right. Book is good. Yes. Belial. I'll walk this long. Whenever I see the word Belial, I can only think of Deckard Cain saying it. Stupid Deckard. Who's that? 
He's one of the dudes from Diablo, the Diablo franchise. Sorry, man. I refuse to even acknowledge Blizzard as a gaming company. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Is it because they are company partnered with Activision, or did you feel that way before? They are not diverse. There is no Irish characters in any of their games. <laughs> there is no tall six foot two Irish guys with red noses in any of their games. Yeah, it's true. Also, they just didn't want a bunch of dirty mix in that. Whoa! <laughs> That's my name! Whoa! That's my name! It is weird that your name is Mick. Yeah. It's, is that an Asian Mick, though? No. Well, oh. I, technically I am an Asian Mick, but I am Irish and Chinese. Really? Yeah. So That's why my beard is red. Your father was you an Irishman? Did you say that you Correct. were oh. in school in the UK at some point and your teacher refused to say your name? Yeah, when I went to school in London, all my teachers would call me Michael. And I was like, that's my biological father's name who oh. left me when I was a child, so I'd prefer if you didn't call me that. <laughs> they were just like, no, no one is named Mick. Well, your name is Michael. Um, wow. And they all had bad English accents and were really old. Hello. <laughs> You're my little man, Mick. Mick? Yeah. Uh, you say you grew up in London? I didn't know no, that. No, 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 no. I went to school in London for a year. Oh, for one year. Yeah. Ever so briefly. You grew up in, uh, Japan, right? Uh, Ch Taiwan. Same thing. <laughs> Taiwan! Same thing. I grew but up in Taiwan. in Japan. Was that? Yeah, I lived in Japan, I did. I lived in Japan for a year. That's kind of cool. Malaysia for four years. You know what Malaysia really is? Tell me, I want to hear this. A cool this is, way of saying m'lady? <laughs> Malaysia? And that's why there's that so would much be nice. neck that beards in Malaysia. <laughs> what? There are actually a lot of neck beards there. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Should I get- should I get the big fly? Bot fly, get it. Got it. Oops. Ooh. Controlled friend. Is that what we are to you? Tilmar. What? Have you ever, like, been watching a movie with your wife, and you hold her hand, and you squeeze just a little too hard, and five bot flies come out of each fingernail? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I oh my god, that, that just happened the other night! Oh my god. Just it like just some epidemic. <laughs> oh my god. Every time I look in the mirror, there's like a new bot fly in my head. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Finger number two. <laughs> this finger contains arguably the largest bot fly. <laughs> this bot is the fly? largest bot yes. fly infestation on my body. <laughs> it is right between my scrotum and my asshole. <laughs> Actually, I uh, I think he's very likable in some weird way. Yeah, of course he is. Yeah. I don't think he'd be successful otherwise. Sharing is caring. Whatever he does, he's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. He really does. He knows what he's doing. Gotta hand it to him, you know? Yeah. Though I gotta say, I fucking hate his videos. Fuck oh, yeah. you. I'm just kidding. They're actually great. They're actually hilarious. Um... Do you think he watches them and laughs? I bet- I, I, I guarantee he's you. He's like, lol. I guarantee you, he, he sits editing with a big fat smile on his head. <laughs> He goes, I wonder how many fucking idiots will watch this one and believe it. Do, do you it. think he re-records lines if they don't sound goofy enough? Yeah, I'm sure the first take is always like, if he's like, number, number one. one. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> number, number one. one. Uh, no, number one. Number one. <laughs> yeah, he, he probably's like, hello, uh, testing, testing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, number 27. Have you heard his rap? Yeah, he raps. I got new followers. Woo. Woo. Um, I think we knew somebody that actually worked on the video. Really? Yeah. What video? Uh, he did a rap video for his rap song. Really? Yeah. Wow. You Ooh. get to see his wonderful face. He's not a bad looking guy, honestly. No. no. Uh, which should I get? Everything. Sad bomb? I get everything, alright. Okay. Sad bomb. That's the new That's role. the default. Just get, get everything. everything. Even if it's gonna ruin my character, I'm yeah. just gonna get it. Yeah. Alright. Aww. That's the plan. Hey, Mick. Yeah. What is the highest you can throw a four-pound rock into the air? Twelve... Twelve stories high. Twelve height units. Twelve high units. Twelve stones. That's pretty impressive. You know, I want to know how far you could probably throw a baby. What do you think the furthest a human can throw a baby is? You mean the guy who, like, bench Who is the press? record? Who is the rec the world record for baby throwing? Um, probably some guy in, like, India somewhere. Do you think there's a place where they- You know, like, they always have, like, weird hobbies in some places, or weird sports? Uh... Like, in Japan, they have screaming contests. 
or they just yell as loud as they can. I'm sure it, the record for like longest baby like oh. throw would be in like a Mayan country where they throw things yeah, off of well, high no. places. So honestly, did, did you see the country? thing? <laughs> no, in India, yeah. there's that thing where they throw, they sometimes throw the baby out the window. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. I'm not making that up. Yeah. It's Somebody Google uh, Indians throwing babies out windows. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that would probably be a bad thing to look up. Then look up, baby holds firecracker for one second too long. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be that. Is that another kitty thing? It's yeah. Guppy's head. Oh, the Goopsta. Should I keep the head or should I get the book? Get the head. Okie doke. We want you to become Guppy. Yep. Or the Guppy. Whatever. Well, I can drop it and still become Guppy. I just oh, have to I grab see. it. So which picture this time? White people or black white. people? White. I want to see the whites for fucking once. Okay. Be finally represented. I'm so sick of the whites not getting represented in modern you media. You may not know this, those were that was an Irish family. Really? Yeah. Killed by Matthew Broderick. <laughs> in his car, in that movie. What is even the plot of Fu Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Oh my god. He's st he's he like has a day off. Yeah, he and has a day off. He fakes he being sick. He fakes being sick, he convinces the oh, IRL man. media through the movie that his principal's a pedophile. <laughs> The plan goes right, and then he kills a family in Northern Ireland on holiday. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Was that real? Yeah. How is he not in jail if everybody knows this is a fact? Oh, wait, know. are you talking about Matthew Broderick? In real life. Okay. Yes. No, I heard I about this. Heard what, what, I no, I really that. did hear about what, that. What I hate about the story is that um, the guy forgave him, the guy's fat, like, whose, like, wife and children were they're killed. Because they're religious, and they're like, Jesus would want us to he forgive literally, you. He wanted closure. He said, I want to forgive him. I want to meet up with him. Matthew Broderick said, Get yeah, okay, let's do it. And then the guy was like, well, are we going to meet up? And then Matthew Broderick never responded again. Oh, dick. So he's just a fucking piece dick. of shit. Yeah, Ma Matthew brought dick. That is mean. Maybe his lawyer was like, no, it's a trap. Oh, Don't yeah. Go. It's possible, but still Irish a Irish people of are shit. pretty, uh, sneaky. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> that sneaky. They're a sneaky race. <laughs> I don't blame him actually. Now that you now that you mentioned Honestly, it. now that you say it, yeah, yeah like maybe a maybe a Holocaust <laughs> is in order. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that that escalated. I'm not even kidding. If the Irish got Holocausted, oh, most of me. them would just accept it. Like that's what Irish people are like. They're just like, this is just life now, yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I feel like Irish people are good at accepting their lot. Irish people are And making good making good literature. About Irish it. people live in the now and they're not very like Let's improve everything. They're just like, well, everything's fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at those. They're, they're twinsies. Now they're dead. I feel like there's one of those inside of me right now. <laughs> I feel like there is too. One just of those screaming to get out. Yeah. Get everything. Your feet feel stronger. Tomar, I can walk on spikes now. Did you know, Tomer, you can inject cooking oil into your body to make yourself look cooler? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that tonight. <laughs> we should do. You should do a video of it. Post it on Twitter. I will. You should do a live stream of it though, I'm so we can see your live reaction. While I do it, I'm non edited. Gonna be, I'm gonna be chugging like crisp, crisper <laughs> juice. <laughs> grow, oh. grow wings. Or, or grow some the, gills. How did the crisper thing work? Do you have to inject it? <laughs> you just, you just Don't drink it. it. You just drink it. I'm oh. gonna, I'm gonna drink crisper juice. Yeah. It's gonna be the kind that gives me wings. <laughs> I had a friend when I was younger that would walk Crisper into- Crisper juice gives you wings! He would walk into, uh, oh, Irish chippers, because he was poor. What? And What's a chipper? Like a, like a wood fish chipper? And, no, a fish and chips. Oh, uh, okay. a chippery. A oh. fish away. Yeah, so he'd walk in and go, can I have a bag of batter? Because they, they would just have bags of batter, like... They, they would scrape the oven of the batter to get rid of it, and then they would just put it into little bags, and he would just go in and ask for them and just eat batter. For free. Well, to be fair, when I was a kid, that's pretty much my favorite part of like anything, like fried chicken. No, when I was a kid, great, I would just eat the outside, the skin. I just leave the you meat. You know, to eat like connect to the skin this is good, but batter on its own I was is fucking. Say, this is uncooked batter, is it? Or, or it is the crispy pieces. Of it's the only the crispy pieces. Oh, I see. That's not that bad. It's fucking terrible. What are I you talking you were about? Describing like bags of raw batter. No, I'm Fuck talking. You. He would go in and eat massive bags of it. It's like the worst possible thing you could put in your body. Except for, well, except, for, except for nothing. And crocodile. <laughs> oh yeah, if you don't eat, you die. <laughs> Just say that's that cool riddle that's like, what is more powerful than God, more evil than the devil? If Food? Uh, Better? And if you eat it, you die. <laughs> and the answer is nothing. Ah. <laughs> Nothing's more powerful than God, that's so fucked up.
I know, right? It's it's got, it's already yeah, got that's like a little all propaganda. This, there. It's got all this religious <laughs> subtext to it. But, you know, uh, uh, that's kind of mean. It's kind of mean. All right. You're offending the God-fearing members of society. Do you want to see something right cool? Now? Do you want to see a magic trick? Yeah. Watch this. Are you floating? Ooh. You are such a little. Troll. Did you see that? Yeah. I, I walked right through it. No, I'm floating. I'm you're not, he's you're not. not. No, he's, he's just very, He's very precise. Yes, you can. You can go between the cracks of these. There you go. Yeah, you're skilled. I like you. There we go. I like the cut of your jib. How about a job? I'm not <laughs> I wish I talked like that. I, I wish do. we all talked like that. Yeah. Instead, I talk like a fucking. I'm like half drunk. Do you think all the anyone time. really talked like that outside? I heard. Of media? I heard that no. In the olden days, even though we're led to believe that they all had like lightning fast wit. And all that shit, no. That apparently people they talk like normal fucking people. They were like, you fucking suck, dude. No. They 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 definitely talked like normal people. That's the transatlantic accent. Yes, that's so only rich people talk like that. Oh no. Did you know they the transatlantic accent is one in hundred percent made up yeah. and it was yeah. created just so rich people could learn to do it to distinguish themselves from everyone else. That's yeah, you know what? Just weird. like why there's eighteen spoons and I twelve heard that's forks. That's true about the London accent too though, like or, or all the like more posh British accents. That like, makes sense. People go to school to like sound more posh. Just to just to be different. Just to distinguish yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree. That was the same thing with any a lot of manners are about that. It's about distinguishing class. So like the reason why there's like a salad fork and a and a soup spoon and like all this kind of shit, yeah. it was to be able to tell who was it's like, like a litmus oh, test. Yeah, exactly. How, how fancy. It's like, you oh look are. at that, look at that Neanderthal using their fucking feet to eat. <laughs> what would you call uh John Cleese's British accent? Is that just the typical British accent or is he I from I'm not an expert on that. So I have to grab everything, this. don't I? Fuck. He's all got right, a great go. great old accent. Scary. Oh, man, you had to give up oh, two hearts. Oh, I can fly! Well, you can I... fly, you can fly, you <laughs> But I got no more white hearts. I need some red hearts. I need some red hearts, otherwise I'm gonna die. Tomar? Yeah, buddy? What would you do if you were watching Bob Ross, and at the start of the episode, in less than one second, he like whipped out his dick and like <laughs> pissed out a paintbrush. Oh no! <laughs> like, like Wait, really did it just shoot out? He just like or was did it, it slow. Like you could see the head of it popping out, it's and like then he had to pull out. It's I'd panic. Skillful. I'd panic. I would call the estate of Bob <laughs> Ross, and I'd say, "I think you guys, I have something you guys really need to see." That's like the Mandela effect, though. What if, what if you went back and watched old Bob Ross, and apparently every episode started like that? You yeah. just totally forgot. Uh, Tomar. Every episode starts with him whipping his dick yeah. out, and then his editor, like, draws, like, paintings popping out of the hole, like, like, squeezing their way out. Tomar, what would you do if, uh, if it just showed Tom, or Bob Ross's face up close, and then the camera panned out, and the top of his hair was his own pubes, and he had a little face a where his dick is. I wrote once. <laughs> That's a sweet creepypasta. Oh, look, diagonal pixels. Fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, everyone, <laughs> everyone harass the creator, fuck you. Don't do that. Oh god. Oh, look at that. I am very impressed by this game though, Mick. I think it's cool. I you know, we still haven't seen any of like the totally psycho builds. Right now you're just seeing me run like, basically, but... We'll see, we'll see. Making a procedural game is one of the fucking hardest things you can do. One that's super fun, too. Yeah. I was gonna say, making it fun's hard. Like, there's plenty of, like, really bland procedural games. That's what I'm saying, like, but yeah. procedural means they're not designed, so, like, you're gonna lose a lot of fun, but... Well, I guess when they're contained there are rooms, rules that they have, you know. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, a lot of people choose procedural because it's technically less work than... Well, Fuck it can you. be less work than hand what? designing everything if you want a really big game, but... Yeah. But obviously, I just... you still, like, it's not truly random, so you still are God, basically fuck. designing everything. Just yeah. designing it in a way that's, like, modular. All I'm saying is, it's cool. I like it. I maybe, like maybe it. Someday, I like it a lot. Someday I'll make a game as cool as this. Chris, you are as cool as this. Puberty. You. Here. Chris, have you been there talking you about puberty. the game you're making? Yeah, yeah tell us about right? your game. Tell us about the game. Well, it's pretty cool. You can insert a coin and play it for five dollars. <laughs> no, a five dollar coin. <laughs> yeah, uh, you have to go to the bank and ask for the premium 
Only, only, only five dollar coin. It's just got your face on it. <laughs> oh no, no. Okay, I'll be serious. It's a, uh, it's, it's gonna be a, a kind of a 2D platformer, and it's, it's gonna be all about momentum. And uh, I don't want to give away too much, so. I'll so just... you got to go fast. Yeah, it's all about high speed. It's all about, uh, you know, do like ju ja jumping and. It's fast. It's furious. It's it's a platformer. It's, it's a gonna, platformer. It's gonna be very speed and momentum based. What and if you go slow? What happens if you go slow? You can go slow, but you, 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 I'm gonna have a lot of uh, things that you can do to you make should, make your own challenges. You should do it like that movie Speed, where if you go slow, you you're like a shark. You have to keep moving, otherwise you die. <laughs> it's honestly, I'm trying to make it so like anyone can play it, but uh, it's gonna have a high skill ceiling, and it's pretty much for speedrunners as well. That's gonna be fun. I don't want to give away anything about it. It's, we're gonna have a trailer hopefully in March, and then you'll find out. Have you guys ever watched any of those Mario speedrun, yeah, Mario like analysis things? Oh yeah, yeah. Mario sixty four is so fun to watch people speedrun. I, I like, I I had recently seen one of those things where they talk about like the what is it like four fifty five is like the currently considered the limit. To beating Mario One, yeah, they wow. they keep people are still playing that game and finding like weird little exploits like, where you can like jump through blocks. Like and literally, shit. all that stuff comes down to like frames, like because of the way Ma Ma apparently Mario runs at sixty frames per second, like from a logic point. Yeah, but they, but but it only like registers certain things every twelve frames. Like wow, like so wow. No, mm -hmm. it's 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 like really specific stuff like these glitches that people use like with the flagpole mm. uh where if you like kind of uh like land on like this like one or two pixel yeah. point yeah. on the edge of the flagpole it'll skip the whole like flag coming down animation, the animation yeah the the amount of time cuz like yeah there's some kind of weird time frame that everything happens on yeah oh one more thing i'll say about the game uh I'm gonna make sure everything I've ever in my life bitched about will not be in the game. So this isn't like uh, one of those reviewers who shit on movies and then make their own, and it's like the worst fucking movie ever. I don't think so. I think everyone I've shown it to has said it, they, it looks cool. That's because we're afraid of you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're afraid of your Godfather-like powers. Yeah, I, did, I showed it to one of my good friends, Tony. Who was on Newgrounds? It sounds fake. As the EXP. Tony. No, this is our this Tony. This is just supporting the idea that you're a mafioso. Tony. No. Hey, you know what? That's true. It does yeah, sound I like... talked to Tony. I showed Tony in the game. He said, yeah. You guys know Tony. Good. He's the EXP. He made Indestructo Tank. Oh, okay. And he made all those viral fucking games back Whoa, in the day. Oh, yeah. That's a good game. And he oh, gave yeah, me pointers. Just... And I never would have thought of him as mafia. <laughs> He's not. He's <laughs> the crazy. most lovely guy. Sure, sure, sure. But um, one more thing is it's an adventure game. And, uh, uh, there's gonna be no interruptions in the game. It's gonna, it's like... Can you tell us about the story? No. Oh, okay. That'll come out later. It's <laughs> gonna Aww. be a secret. I don't want to give away too much. I just want to let... It's gonna be an adventure 2D platform with lots of momentum, and... It's gonna have no interruptions. Anything that could be considered story, you can skip it with the press of a button. Nice. And I, I don't, I do not want a single goddamn in interruption in that whole game. Yeah, that's it. It's gonna have an intro though, right? Yeah, like, no, that's... it'll have a story, but it'll be like Devil May Cry, where you push start, you skip it. If you don't want to listen to it. Also, you, there will be a log system, like a little notebook, where you can see what the story is, what's happened, you know? That kind of shit. So yeah. you want the story, you just don't want to force it on people. I, yeah. I can appreciate that. It's not, it's not supposed to be a deep story anyway, yeah. it's pretty self-explained. It's just a, it's gonna be mostly about being fun to control. Oh fuck me! Ah, oh, he's cute. I like how he bobs, you know. Oh, ooh! Like so we it. got the uh, the white people photo, right? Uh huh. So that yes. means we got to go to heaven. Go to, go to heaven, man. Oh, yo, pixelated. What people. if you had gone down? Uh, that means whatever happened. I don't get to go to the <laughs> secret extra thing after this. Oh, it would have just ended the game. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, I would have one more level in there. Oh, you have one, done. but okay. I, I like yeah. these backgrounds. Now I got two more. You're in church. Hey, Mick, you've got a deep voice, right? Uh, uh -huh. Give me a bass, like. Okay, keep doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm 
yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's a cool church song. That makes, yeah, it made me feel like I was in the synagogue. <laughs> Vishamru. Mish, Mishblamru. Hey, yeah, sing, sing is a good old, sing is a good old Jewish church song. I'll give Tomar. you the backing track. <laughs> <laughs> no, too much pressure. I, I, you guys can both sing pretty well. I, I can't what? so much. Do you have to sing church songs? Do you have church songs and stuff? Yeah, no, in synagogue, so, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, they're almost they almost all have tunes to them. So, give us a give us a little show. Vishamru inside my shoes. Is that Russia? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Russian Jews. That's a thing. That that that, that that's a yeah. That one song. Yeah. That's totally like an old Russian folk tune. Hey, is, what, what what's uh, where's the filler on the roof from? Uh, like what country is he from? He's supposed to. Be, I think it's supposed to be in Russia. Yeah, it's, right. It's called Anatevka, which sounds yeah. Russian. That's really a Russian. He's from dude. Uh, the country. That's Fid about Fiddly. as Russian as it gets. He's from Fiddly. <laughs> See, she laughed. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I like that song in Monty Python that goes That's a pretty funny song, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that movie so goddamn funny? Um, because... Did you know that? That movie was funded by Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd... Lies. And a bunch- No, it's yeah, true. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That is true. And they, they did it as a tax write-off, because no other studio would pick him up. That's cool. Yeah. I dig that. That's, I got- I got respect for that. It was four bands, I forget the other two. I got was mad the, was that respect. the first time they made a feature, the Monty Python guys? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, actually, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, you know what? So Life of Brian have, seems like it had a lot more production. I have no idea what order their movies came out in. <sighs> what I love about uh, the Holy Grail is like the surroundings they're in look really dirty and like fucked up, and it just suits the time period, and it, it yeah. actually feels authentic. I am bad. No, it kind of, it really does. Yeah, like I've never seen a movie like that. Like, and it's supposed to be funny too. Like, you, you never see an actual big budget film with such dirty, disgusting like backgrounds that suit the time. I was gonna say, I think of like a Knight's Tale where like, like everyone, like the dude has like frosted hair and like. Yeah, it looks like a set. Yeah. I love that film though. It's a fun film, but yeah, like, like everybody in the stands fucking doing "We Will Rock You" or whatever. <laughs> I, I, that's a great film. I love yeah. that film. The part where he walks in and his dad like sees him for the first time almost made me cry. Aww. But um, did it remind you of your life? Not really. My dad not like that dad. But there's a part in Monty Python and Holy Grail right at the start where they're walking through a village of like pretty much mud and there's just people rolling around it. It's the funniest <laughs> shit. It's like the funniest visual. Just a bunch of peasants just like not a not able to stand. They're just rolling around in filth and dying. I think uh I think you know what, Mick? Yeah. We had potential to be like Monty Python with Sleepy Cabin and we all squandered it. Oh boy, too real, dude. <laughs> ooh, ooh. That hit me right in the, ooh. And it's all your fault. <laughs> oh man, and my toes all, are numb. It's all because Mick couldn't hold things together. Wow. That's such a that's way a, to <laughs> way to fucking push that narrative. That's bullshit. <laughs> it was because we were I'm all busy cry. and couldn't commit to anything. I'm gonna fucking cry. You said grab everything. So yeah. I'm grabbing everything. Mick, you were honestly the only thing holding it all together. Oh thanks. And I failed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we still do, uh, by the way, uh, are, are you down with just doing a couple more episodes? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I know, uh, I know it's kind of like dragging a fucking, it's like not even kicking a dead horse, it's like digging it is up it, out of the is, ground. I still saw that in your list of things you do on your downtime is working on that trivia game. Yep. Yep, so there's gonna be a trivia game to give away the merch, because we got all this merch that the patrons fucking funded, and it's just sitting around, and I don't want to sell it, because then we gotta deal with taxes and shit. Yeah. So I just wanted to use that to, to just give it away. See, he cares. We all care. I don't. <laughs> no is this like a boss rush? No, this is just a mini boss. Oh. oh. 
This is good commentary, you guys. <laughs> wow. Featuring video game commentary. It is loaded up. This is the worst AMSR. Did you know that? ASMR? A a ASMR, a yeah. ASMR. Did you know that, like, 99% of history is fake? Yeah. You know, like, how people say, like, fake ships news. sailed over the ocean back in the day and they were made of wood? Yeah. That's such complete horseshit. What do you mean? Because water would just come in through the, through the cracks. No, it's that's not ridiculous. true. ridiculous. I think... I think the wood on their ships was treated in some way, but... Yeah, okay, Alex Jones, whatever, dude. <laughs> no, they had... There's really advanced methods of, of, like, manual woodworking where you can, like, water seal wood stuff, like, without you having, like, a modern type of, like, Yeah, okay, sealing. Jesse Ventura, okay, dude. <laughs> No! I, what is this, boat what, gate? What, what the hell do you think those ships were otherwise made of? Look, they Tomar, swam! I'm joking! Everybody <laughs> swam back in the day. Tomar. That does suck, though. You know back in the day when they had, like, witch hunts? Like, legit witch hunts? They had to use dinghies to catch the witches. And they, <laughs> they had little boats. They had little one-paddle boats. But it just sucks because oh. one of the tests to prove whether you were a witch or not was whether you could like they'd throw you in water And if you could swim you were a witch and if you drowned it's like oh, I guess they were human. Oh good job Yeah, I remember that one that fucking sucks and they made him hold firecrackers one second too long <laughs> That'd be scary. I always wanted to see what would happen if you stretched oh, your nuts God, over I a firecracker and just let it Oh God get me out of this fucking room, please. What is the Sega Genesis? Nope, can't get out Fuck me. Homar. Homar. What? What I do? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being a gaslighter. <laughs> I pull, I'm very gullible. Oh, I fucking hate this. You know what they say, Tomar. Nice guys finish last. Ah, fuck. Yeah, they do say oh, that. Oh shit, I'm back. But maybe they're fucking stupid. Yeah, you know what? Because you're doing pretty good. Oh god. I've seen your bank account. I didn't see that happening. Whoops. You haven't. <laughs> I hacked your bank account. Uh, I was killed by this thing in some cold place. A mummy, mummy boy. Whoa! You died? I died. I'm sorry, man. Dear diary, today I died. Well, that was on, How like... the fuck did I write this if I'm fucking dead? <laughs> <laughs> did you- that was the last level, wasn't it? What cool. does the code mean? That's what I want to know. Uh, that's your seed. Oh. So, so that- oh, that's the- so if, so you if want I want to redo this to run, redo the exact same yeah. thing. Oh, that would let you do it. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes if you have a really fun build, like oh. you, like game breakingly funny, like you're just shooting out, like the whole screen just is just share, full of exploding shit. Yeah, you share the seed, and they can get the same items, and they can have that yeah. awesome experience. You know how like Minecraft, experience. Minecraft had that 404 challenge where you type in 404 into the seed, and you go down the hole right where you start. Does this game they have any the, famous they had the, seeds? For the chalice dungeons, right? Yeah. It's similar. Yeah. Yeah. But is wait, there, what is this Minecraft thing? Is this this yeah. creepypasta? No, there was a, a famous Minecraft seed that you could type in that was yeah. just 404, and it would start you next to a big hole. Okay. And, and it was like, supposedly the back in the day, it was like the scariest hole ever, full of enemies and scary shit. But um, I was wondering if this game had anything similar where it's like a famous seed that someone discovered that was just insane. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's something like that. But there are things you can do, like there's cheats that you can turn on and off. Yeah. Using the seed system, I think. I think it's through that. But yeah. you can like make any- you can do it so like all of your items disappear immediately and- mm. And uh, just make it dumb and hard. I feel ya. Well- Yeah. Like my dick. Dumb let's, and hard, let's, baby. Let's end this here. Uh, Isaac! Isaac is a cool game. Mice, mice, pirate, Mick, everybody. <laughs> mice, pirate, Mick. <laughs> okay. Oh! Everyone, uh, please go to the bathroom and turn off your water taps. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You're fucking... <laughs> fucking... <laughs> what? Snakes. <laughs> I love you. Alright, boys and girls, we're back to Binding of Isaac. Unfortunately, I still haven't figured out how to get my damn save dad over, so, uh... He tried real hard. I did. <laughs> what do you guys want? You, you know, this round, people were people were mentioning how me asking if I should grab shit was just redundant and stupid, so... <laughs> yeah. That was your idea. <laughs> it was. It was my <laughs> fucking redundant, stupid idea. Huh. So what are we gonna do instead? Yeah. I don't know. Just, Mick, just do it. I'm just gonna run. You're, yeah. I'm just gonna run and and run for my life. Who do you like being? Let's just hang out. Um, I like Isaac. Really? Why Isaac? Cause he's the hero. We. Okay, that's fair. Wait, wait, go back. Ah! Ah! I wanted to read ah! a tutorial. Ah! <laughs> All right. 
Let's go back to the tutorial. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't even acknowledge I said that. <laughs> okay, Tomar. Yeah, what? What did you learn this week? I... Uh, man. <laughs> Really laying it on the hard-hitting questions. Am I supposed to? Tomar is a deer in the I, headlights. I learned that, that India and Pakistan are about to go to war. Oh god. Did you see that video where it's like an Indian and a Pakistani man yelling at each other in the car? And they're just saying like, Fucking shit! You bastard fuck! Wasn't that just you doing an impression no, on that one video? No, that's what's so fucked up about it. It, it sounds it, just it like sound, the impression it, you did. I swear to god, it's, it's literally that in real life. What did that guy say to you guys? Like, uh, you fucking assholes. No, it, it was literally, he said, you motherfuck. You motherfuck. Yeah. You, you fucking shit. You fucking I'm shit. I'm fucking your sister, and you fuck my sister. <laughs> what was that? I was that? gonna say, I was on, like, Pakistani Twitter for a while last <laughs> night. Whoa. And it was, there was a lot of stuff like that. Now love, they see it, now we show. Now we show them. <laughs> Dude, my favorite Whoa. thing about, I, like, <laughs> I, I, I'm not trying to sound all racist and shit, you know, God forbid, I come from a Chinese household, but when people try to say, like, American insults in their own language, and then, like, they get all, like, stuttery and shit, I feel like they just lose all sense of what the words actually mean. Yeah. Like, you fucking shit fuck! I fuck your shit! I don't get- I, You acid that shit and fuck! I don't really get why accents are racist to begin with, because they're yeah. just where you grow up, it has yeah. nothing to do with your race. That's it's true. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. I guess the idea is that, like, if you assume that everybody of an ethnicity is Sounds going to like have that. the stereotypical that's accent, just funny. <laughs> but... <laughs> that's that's called good old fashioned uh, stereotyping. If you if you learned English in India, you're gonna sound like an Indian guy and not like a British or an American guy. It's true. It's like with Asians, like, my grandma used to actually sound exactly like that, like, Oh, hello, Mika! You know, whatever, but if you were to, if you were to ever do, like, Oh, and then my grandma said this, if yeah. you were to, like, do something like that, people would think you were fucking being a racist. But well, it's just fact! How come when I'm a little boy holding a lollipop, my mom's like, Never ever show them that you're upset when they make fun of you, but then when you grow up, you're- you, Everyone gets more upset... <laughs> ...when they make fun of each other. Is that- is that a common saying? <laughs> that, yeah, that's the most like famous- Like, Mama always said. <laughs> when I'm holding a lollipop, Mama always said. What was the best advice you ever got from your parents? Uh, from my dad. Where, like, you look back and you're like, damn, that was good. He always said, grow a, a really long penis if you can. <laughs> <laughs> All, <laughs> lots of water and It doesn't work, but it's good advice. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Barring anything wow. else you could do, make sure to grow as long a penis <laughs> as if you, you can. can. If yeah. you can. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like the Marilyn Manson theme of the Resident Evil movie in 1996? The Resident Evil movie? Wait, no, that, oh. was, that was 2001 or 2000. Yeah, 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 that was the beautiful- No, 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 that was Sweet Dream- No, what was that song? It sounds like this, kind of. It's like- Oh, yeah! I like that song. Uh, Marlon Manson made it. I'm debating about- No, I'm not doing that. Uh, Marilyn Manson was one of those guys that I- Lasted a lot longer than I thought he would. Yeah. But- yeah. <laughs> he's talented. Yeah. And he's what, nice name, looking. Name your, name your top three Marilyn Manson songs. Uh, this is Halloween. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, you, you don't don't cover of it. This is Halloween. This, this is, is Halloween. Halloween. This is Halloween. <laughs> was that at, like, the end credits of, of no, the No, there, there was like a, there was like a, a, like an album released where it was just covers of the songs done by different bands. Oh, I see. But he did This is Halloween. I was just fucking around, did he really? Yeah. I never know when to believe you, Chris. No, that's real. <laughs> By the way, when I said he's nice looking, I don't know why that even came out of my mouth. <laughs> was no that was reason. the first thing that came to mind. I know, I don't know why. <laughs> what are those hanging down? Do you just have like a sense for those? There's, there's some place, I mean, I was gonna get this block anyway, but then there's sometimes one here, or sometimes ah. one here. This is an eye, I think it does... Oh, it helps with whatever, but this is better for now. Oh, okay, now you can see where the little exit is. Yeah, but I, I don't- I'm fine. I just want poop power. This way when you shoot poop, sometimes you- you'll get something. Wow. Just like in real life. You ever play- What? <laughs> you ever play a PS1 game called Loaded? 
Uh, what, what was it? What happened? Uh, it was like a top-down shooter, and it had music that's similar to this as well. And it was really bloody. You'd shoot someone and bloat would fly everywhere. Where it was top-down, was it like Smash TV? Kinda. Yeah. Kinda? Kinda. Man, I miss Smash TV. I never played it, and I always thought it had something to do with Smash Brothers. No, I, I played that a lot at- It was a place called Jack's Deli, where my grandpa always took us in Philly, and they had- Aww. They had a copy of it. And it's the twi- the- you controlled it with twin joysticks, too. My go-to arcade game is always Metal Slug 3. I don't care about any other games in the whole arcade. In the whole arcade! Except for Tetris! That's good, too. Did you hear they're- they're making a new Bushido Blade? Speaking of Neo Geo games... Bushido Blade? Yeah. No. Wasn't that just Samurai Showdown? Or that's what I meant, not Bushido Blade. No, it- it, it wasn't. But I was thinking of Samurai Showdown <laughs> and not Bushido Blade. I love how they're not the same game, but in my head, I figured out what you meant. <laughs> Bushido Blade was like a PS1 game that was like... It was like realistic weapons, so like... If you just slash through a guy with a sword once, they just die pretty much. That's cool. And there were characters in Bushido Blade 2. Well, I'm thinking more of Bushido Blade 2. I never actually played Bushido Blade 1. But in Bushido Blade 2, there were characters that had guns. Literally, you could just like open the roundup and just be like, Psh, and the other guy would be dead. Wait, you could shoot guns or people shot guns at you? You could like, there were characters that like their main weapon was a gun. Oh, oh, that's right. No, 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 I game. remember. Th okay, yeah, yeah, no, I remember this now. Do you guys like games like Devil May Cry <laughs> yeah. and Bayonetta? Um, I, uh, I'm not a big Devil May Cry guy. I, I... Me neither. Yeah, I don't know what it is about those games. It just feels like, I don't know, it, it gets really hack and slashy. Yeah. I know there is a lot of skill and there's the combos and all this shit, but... I don't know. I usually have a lot of fun with those games for the first, like, ten hours, and then I lose interest and never finish them. I mean, yeah. I've seen, like, when I saw Stamper playing that, it's just like, at higher levels, that is the most mashy button fucking shit, man. Oh, I want this! I mean, it's really skill-based, which is cool. Yes. Already, no, absolutely. I already pre-ordered Sekiro, by the way. <laughs> yeah? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for that. What did you pre-order it for? Just for Steam. Oh yeah, I should do the same. You know what? I'm excited for that. I don't want to. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but uh, I'm extra excited for that game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! That was that was that was exciting. Yeah, that was a weird cut. Thanks, what happened? Chris. <laughs> I'll never forget tonight. <laughs> Not after that. <laughs> Mmm. Oh, I love gore. Look at that. So bloody. Oh! Urine syringe, get it. Yeah, I hope this doesn't fuck my- This is gonna reshuffle all my stuff, but it does <laughs> give me a boost. Oh, I, I got it. four damage, which is decent. Let's pray. Oh. Let us pray. Uh, what happened? I didn't even- I got I got less damage. <laughs> I prayed to the wrong god! Tomer, what's your favorite religious song? What's my fa- I didn't grow up with, like, anything other than Jewish songs. Are Christmas songs considered religious? I, I think so, yeah. What- what was that? I don't know, a lot of songs I thought were religious songs were just, like, really, like, hippie, like, 70s songs, like, And the old shall dream dreams, <laughs> and the youth shall see visions. <laughs> I- for some reason I always thought that was, like, a religious song. Why does this sound like Lemmy Winks? Remember that? Because that's how everyone's- Lemmy Wings, Lemmy Wings. Because that's just how those songs all sounded. I don't- That's what <laughs> Lemmy Wings is based on, was like... I think that was some... Like, late 60s or like, early 70s, where... I don't know if it was a particular artist who just had a voice like that, or... If, if everybody <laughs> was just trying to sound like they were singing like a... Like a medieval ballad. Uh, is South Park still good? I don't know. I don't watch it anymore. I have no one either. <laughs> I guess that's a sign. Uh... I feel like what there was a time when that was like the only good show. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I don't know, I'm really nostalgic for it, because... I was raised on it, pretty much. So... I watched it all the way up through... Season 1 through... Like, 10. When you and then go, I stopped. Have you gone back and watched the first season? When it was yeah. all just about, like... Satellites coming out of kids' asses yeah, and fucking gay one teachers is, and shit. <laughs> it's fine, but I don't really like it that much, though. I don't know. I I, I have a real soft spot for that 
No, it's cool because like you know, humble beginnings and yeah. like all that shit. But I don't know. To go back and rewatch it, yeah, I'm just not. Say, I don't care that much. I can't really enjoy those seasons that much anymore myself. It, it, I think it got good in, around season two. Honestly, it started getting its its wings. Mm. It's wings? Like Sorry. an angel? Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now look at those. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody I think was talking about doing like realistic art renderings of some of this shit. Yeah. I feel like that'd be some of the freakiest, freakiest shit I'd have seen. Uh, no? No, I'm, I'm trying to think. What is the scariest art I've ever seen? I think I've talked about that guy Beskinski before, right? That sounds familiar. He draws this weird, like, War of the Worlds red vinish shit with, like, scary war imagery like, and shit. When you say red vinish, are you referring to the candy red vines? Uh. Or no? I don't think so. It's just, like, bloody, veiny, like, vines covering landscapes gotcha. and, like, shit like that. I like his stuff. They're cool. You just made me hungry for red vines. <laughs> <laughs> You'd love it. The whole world was covered in red vines? <laughs> Alright. Yo, man, go to the arcade. Let's play some video games! The music's fun. Yeah, look! There's a life lesson there. Video games will make you rich. Ain't yeah. that right, boys? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> no! Look at that. Wow. Damn. I'm on a roll, guys. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. Ah, fuck shit. this game. Gambling is dumb. Wait, Tomar, you never answer. What's your favorite religion song? What's your favorite religion? <laughs> yeah. Religion song. What's, what's your, your favorite religion? What's your favorite religion, Tomar? I don't know. Me, <laughs> Malel, <laughs> See, all that stuff I know is Hebrew. <laughs> That's a good one, though. Wait, Mick, were you raised Christian? Uh, n uh no, but my grandma was Christian uh, Methodist. Yeah. And my uh, grandfather was Buddhist. Wow. But I never knew she was Christian. She used to pray before she'd eat, but I just thought she was like closing her eyes and like ignoring me. And I used to spend that time just <laughs> yelling at her. Like, why, 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 why? And she like wouldn't, it was like a fucking monk. I thought she you just sat there. I thought you meant like her eyes turned white and yes. you were just like, ah! <laughs> and she, Wake up! <laughs> she floated three inches above the table before she ate. Get, like, get, back, get back down here! I'm trying to eat! Um... But yeah, no, she was just chilling and- and being... her, just being good old grandma. Did you ever play like, Take the Knee Gel from Grandma? No! Take the Knee Gel? What? Yeah, when they're like asleep in their chair and you like prick their knees with pins and gel comes out and you put it into Ew. a pot. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Ew! Where'd you even, like, come up with that? The fact that you have a name for it <laughs> frightens me. It's the knee gel. <laughs> Duh, it's knee gel. I just like draining the fluids from my grandma's knees and bottling it. Yeah. And selling it. If you plant it, it grows into a new grandma. <laughs> Grandmas are great. I'd fucking do that. My grandma was a very small woman. Was she China's? You could bury her in one was sandbox. <laughs> It's <laughs> great. A great moment to just. I hate that mental image. It's like your fucking grandma curled up like a mummy, like some like prehistoric <laughs> ancient body Lucy they oh. found and fucking. <laughs> All right, my grandma actually no, she, uh, she was like, uh, grandpa or you know, it was granddad for me and her. She was called nanny, but she'd be like, granddad's making you a, a sand pit. Like, yay! Go out and play in the sand pit for like one day. The next day, I go out and play in it. There's just centipedes everywhere. <laughs> I never went in there again. <laughs> Scary. That's frightening. I don't like centipedes. That is genuinely frightening. Yeah, and they're like, make sure to put the lid on it or the cats will shit in it. <laughs> so, centipedes and cat shit. That was your childhood? Kinda. There was always those little, uh, roly poly bugs in there, too. They're always like, Chris! Go back out and play in the <laughs> sandpit, Chris! Play in the roly-poly sandpit! I was gonna say, I, when I was a- I lived in like a university family housing complex when I was like- I was like hoping you'd say a Jew pit. Three to, se <laughs> three to seven oh years Oh my old. gosh! Too soon! And oh shit, that's a thing. I know! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, go on. And, Ooh. and there were, um... 
There were like sandboxes at every like corner of the of the neighborhood. Yeah. Like no joke, there were probably like 30 or 30 plus sandboxes in my neighborhood. Wow. And I don't know, it was a really cool place to grow up because everybody there had kids. And like, you know, you're three, so you just will, are willing to play with any kid that looks remotely your age. <laughs> That was the closest I ever felt to living on a neighborhood that was like a television neighborhood. What the fuck? That's cool. Why isn't the sacrifice- The sacrifice room is supposed to give me fucking angels and demons! What the fuck is happening? Maybe something about your particular what? character type makes you unable to sacrifice. Oh my god, have we not even unlocked Heaven and Hell- or the fucking Mega Satan? I have no oh idea what you're my talking about. God, I wasted all that health! Lol, fuck you, dude. Fuck me! Angels and demons. Fuck me? Maybe. Guess what, Chris? What? Fuck me. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Please. Me. Tom Hanks. Have you seen Sully? So is that when he plays that uh pilot pilot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's a pilot. Whenever I hear Sully, I just think of Monsters Inc. Yeah. He looks into the camera and says, This is not Monsters Inc. And then he says, Now it's time to get serious. <laughs> and he lands it and really he lands good. The plane upside down. <laughs> Onto Monsters Inc. Yeah. You know, I was thinking recently about Sully. Sad, sa oh. About Sad Mario. Mm. And just how I wish we, we'd get some Sad Mario sometimes. I don't feel like there's enough sad Mario. Every time we hear him, he's always so fucking chipper. He's really bland. Yeah, fuck that guy. He's like, wahoo! Why can't he's my children's we... mascot be more gritty? Mamma mia! <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want sad one like, wahoo! <laughs> or just, oh, mm. let's try that again. We just need more tonally varied Mario yeah. stories. Yeah, Mamma mia! Or, and then someone's just like, dude, you're just talking about Luigi now. I like it when they at least try something new. I feel yeah. like Mario's been kind of formulaic for a yeah. long time. Mario has that sort of like Disney thing going on where it's like you can't you can't deviate too far from like brand. Wait, we need to talk about Sully for one more minute. Yes. Tomar. I've never seen Sully. If you were watching the movie Sully and when he's right about to land the plane in the river, but then a hole opened in the bottom of the plane and he started running like Fred Flintstone along <laughs> the water. <laughs> Would you rate the movie high or low just for that? I guess what well, what happens in the original film? He just crashes into the river. He just crashes into the river, but then <laughs> instead his he puts his feet out and is just like, I think I can do this. <laughs> yeah, he, he, and he just and he starts running really really fast. He runs so fast that they skim across the top of the water. Yeah, for like the next like thirty miles until they make it to shore. But his, his and legs then, are really thick and, and have the, three and toes then he, like Fred Flintstone. And then he sticks his heels out and breaks and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has the screeching, and the water has to like ball, like bundle up like a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tomer, answer: Would you rate it good or bad? I rate it good. If the whole movie was serious up until that point, yeah, yeah, that'd, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> that would probably make me scream in laughter, <laughs> but not knowing it going in. If someone told me and ruined it for me, then I wouldn't do that. Yeah, you'd already know it was coming. You'd be waiting for that moment the whole time. <laughs> I like this worm creature. Looks like your penis. Can an earthworm breach your skin with a bite? No. No. They don't have teeth. Oh. But At there least... are other worms that can get into your skin. Dang straight. Can like Chris's really... penis. Can they actually burrow in from the outside, or do you have... The, like, like... Like a leech? What is it? Is a leech not like a worm? Are they totally different? Families? I think so. Yeah. Worms always freak me out because when you pick them up, they always like do a little. They, tur I, they turn in to like bite you, but then they can't bite you, I guess. I've never thought of a leech as being a worm. Ever? Oh no. No, they're it's not. more like a slug than a worm. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of just its own thing, but. Oh yeah, a little Mr. Uh, worm Expert over here. I'm not. Mm. I'm I'm honestly just going with my intuition here. I'm not trying to prove anything. Anybody could Google this and. And probably be like, way to show your dominance. <laughs> way to assert a. myself. Yeah, yeah, way to assert your fucking dominance, huh? Oh shit! Oh, that was lucky. Oh yes, boys. Good Tomar. It was one of those pills actually called Lemon Party. Okay, it sure it is. is. <laughs> Tomar. Yeah. What if you came over to my house to watch a movie, and then we went out into the backyard to talk about life, and then you noticed out of the corner of your eye a little worm crawling towards my foot. 
And when it got to my foot, it like blended into my shoe. <gasps> what, would you be freaked out? Yeah, I think I'd try to point it out to you before it... Before it crawled into your shoe. No, 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 no. It crawls up to my shoe and rests its body against the shoe and then just like absorbs into my my body, kind of. Like it, I'm, it's part of me. Yeah, I don't know who wouldn't be freaked out by that. But would you trust me or would you think that it was just a weird thing? What would you do? No, my first assumption would not be that the worm has now possessed your <laughs> brain. <laughs> Okay, 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 that's the first thing that happens, you're like, okay, that's kind of weird, maybe I just imagined that, right? But then we go back inside to watch, like, I don't know, uh, Herbie fully loaded, and then we're sitting down, <laughs> and then, uh, I sneeze, and, uh, like, two worms, like, hang off my face, but I just quickly push him back into my face. <laughs> Acting like he didn't notice? Yeah. And like, oh, yeah, Herbie's pretty cool. <laughs> then what? I'd, um... I'd... I mean, I'd probably point it out to you. I'd be like, what are you talking- Dude, shut up, let's watch Herbie. That's what I say. What if Chris got well, down on all fours, <laughs> crawled out the front door into the backyard, and started eating dirt, and then shitting it out his ass? No, that's not subtle, then he'd really know. <laughs> no, no, Tomer, what if I go to the bathroom, and I take a shit, and I come back, and then you go to the bathroom, and there's a worm in the toilet. It, the whole toilet is filled with worms. <laughs> that's- that's too Just obvious. Just filled with worms. If there was one- if there was one worm, like, pushing himself down the hole right as he came in and he just went out of sight. Again, I think I just point out to you, Chris, there's something weird going on with worms and you. I'm like, you're fucking nuts, you fucking idiot. <laughs> get I'd out. Be a, I'd be a fa I, then I'd get out. <laughs> And, and then, leave. you go back to your house- Cause you were so mean to me. You go back to your house and you're like, Hey Jaxie, Chris's house is full of worms. And then Jaxie turns around and she's got a big worm for a head. <laughs> oh no. And then the credits roll. <laughs> you go, I am a married a worm. <laughs> oh no, I am a married a worm. I am like married a worm. I am like married a worm, guys. <laughs> Bad things always wind up happening to Jaxie in, in your hypotheticals. I know, it's kind of messed up. <laughs> I think she's, she enjoys it though. Yeah, what's up with that? One time she sent me a Skype message, she was like, What the fuck? A brick flew through the window and <laughs> killed me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I responded to I that one. I think that was, um, <laughs> that was fear when we were playing yeah. fear. <laughs> it's fucked up. Why don't you ever ask me horrible things about my girlfriend? Because you're already- you're already suffering the worst of our fate. Damn. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn! Nah, she's cool. I was gonna say. <laughs> she's alright. She's I'm cool. also not the one who- who comes up with horrible hypotheticals. That's and true. And not horrible as in badly thought out, just horrible <laughs> Yeah, you're in... always like, Hey, Tomar, what would happen if, like, you peed razor blades on your mommy's face? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Could but it made be, her prettier, uh, But it somehow. made her pretty. <laughs> the razor blades are all, like, cosmetic surgeons. <laughs> Ew. Have you ever heard of a methanol fire? It's invisible and you can't even see it. Really? Yeah, it Can happens- you smell it? It happens to, uh, race car- cars. What? Where yeah. you can be on fire and there's no visible flame? Yeah. People be like, dude, I'm on motherfucking fire! They're like, what are you talking about? That's, hor that's horrifying. I know, that's a horrifying thing. And the guy just- the guys just say like, I'm on fire, I swear! And then everyone <laughs> just like, runs over nah, and puts him out. I don't know, out. I don't know. Is that Super Meat Boy? Yeah. No, he's Super Mean Boy. Super dead boy, ha <laughs> ha! All the bandages, gotta lick them. Oh, fuck off! Don't want to think about that. <laughs> about licking a big ball of bandages. Do you yeah. ever eat your scabs when you were a kid, Chris? <sighs> I ate everything when I was a kid. Boogers, scabs, shit. Pulled, piss. pulled like skin off of your toe and fucking ate that too. My cock, <laughs> my belly button. I believe that. When I was like twelve, I discovered that if you shove your finger deep into your belly button and take it out. And smell it. it. Smells like shit. Yeah, no, I discovered <laughs> that too. No, I le legitimate poo. It smells like shit. You're. I agree. What's wrong with Try you guys? It. Try it at home right now. Yeah, for the old kids playing along, and then make a hashtag. It says, uh, make a hashtag that says belly button poo smell 2019. <laughs> Stinky bellies. And so it, th those things basically act like free bombs <laughs> now, huh? I want to see yeah. like, I want to see a, a trending tweet. Trending hashtag. Sticky belly buttons. Uh, 
uh, belly button poo smell 2019, and I want everyone to tweet out that hashtag with the sentence, It's true, seriously, try it out. <laughs> oh. What's the worst smell that came out of your body, Chris? Like, I'm talking like, you know, you didn't shower for a week, and then you, you wiped your ass, and you, you, you didn't have any toilet paper, so you used your hand. I'm pretty good about showering when I stink. Yeah? I don't let it go too far, I don't think. But, uh, the worst smell ever is when I got really drunk. Cause I dr it's just alcoholic shits are the stinkiest. Yeah. They smell damn bad. If I don't fart- if I don't shit for like a week, yeah. and, and like when I went to Japan and I fart, <laughs> it literally smells- it- it smells like is that, a decomposing that, body. Mick, you said that's a thing when you travel where your body yes. just decides not to shit for Correct. a week. Correct. <laughs> that is- this that's is something weird. common- it is common. I don't know if it's like some kind of, uh, some kind of adaptation to travel, you know, so I don't have to like... Because I'm always afraid of using public toilets when I travel, you never know what you're gonna it's get. It's true, I've, I don't think I ever had to use a public toilet in like... In like, Thailand, or... I definitely had to use one in Japan, though. Chris, but they're all really nice there, even in like a random ass department store. You know, like, American public toilets are the worst ever. They've what are they got, like in Ireland? In Ireland, they're they're pretty similar to America, but America's like just slightly worse than everywhere else. America always has like <laughs> twenty feet gaps in the doors that yeah. everyone can see into. Also, why the fuck I, have you ever used a girl's bathroom because that you had to and there was no girls around? Yeah. Why are girls' bathrooms so fucking dirty? Cause girls are dirty girls little are hamsters. Girls are fucking disgusting! Girls are sick girls little are fucking bitches. Absolutely revolting. Yep. Every girl bathroom I've gone into, a public one, I- I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't. I'm like, I get it with guys, like, you know, your- your dick's swinging around like a helicopter and pee just kind of goes off in its own direction. I understand. Yeah. But how the fuck is there piss all over a toilet seat for a girl? Um... I don't know, man. Do are girls afraid of putting their butts on the seats? Yes, so then instead they just fucking. I'm pretty sure that's exactly stand what's over happening. It? They, when they go into a shared toilet, they don't trust it, so they squat real high above the seat, and then they just wind up pissing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, disgusting. It's a wonderful little cycle. <laughs> hey, girls out there, listening, get your shit together, okay? Stop pee peeing everywhere. Just leave the the country. It's nasty. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Go away! Boys only! Yeah. <laughs> I wish there was a boys only country. I wish there was a boys only bathroom. I wish there was a boys only world where you don't have to share with stupid girls. Yeah. And you can kill girls when you see them in the <laughs> woods and shit. Jesus! <laughs> wish you could just kill people. Okay, you okay. Hate. Listen. I hate everyone. I understand well, where you're coming from, but you can't say these things you mean out who loud. I'm coming in. Not in what? today's world. People are sensitive about this shit. No, they're not. <laughs> I'm not sensitive. I can tell. You know, no, but real talk. If someone wanted to kill me, it's it's fine. Just do it. Just kill me. Just get it over with. <laughs> That's rude. Oh. Wow, your mom's <clears throat> killing you again. So if you survive this. Can you just play the same round forever and ever and ever? Is that how it works? There, later on, you can actually continue to play again and again. Um... But, for now, we don't have that option. Oh. You have to open up, uh... Delirium, and then, yes, you can. You can basically do, like, another round- Ah, oh, fucking A! Oh, that's- There I we go. I didn't even notice that last time, that's cool. She comes in through the doors and what shit. Did she, what does she scream at the end? I Oh. Oh. So this is your mom reaching in trying to pull you out of your little box? What? Is this your mom yeah. reaching in trying to pull you out of your little box? Yeah, she's like trying to reach into the basement <laughs> and f fucking kill you again. <laughs> the sun! The power of the sun! But then why are you in a womb now? Oh! Did your mother reabsorb you? Whoops. Mick? Yes? Did you know that at any moment in history, the sun can make a pol uh, solar beam, solar flare? One time a year, the sun creates a giant solar beam. No, but isn't that a thing? Wasn't There's the last, solar flares. Wasn't there a solar flare in like 1912 or some shit? Ah. Uh, and it like wipes out all electronics in the world? Shit. Um, e uh, there was definitely a major solar flare, and that is a threat. 
you know, that they... They can fuck shit up like that. If that happens, we are so screwed. Yeah, yeah, but that's why those servers, like the, the Amazon servers and stuff... Is, correct me if I'm wrong, Tomar, but isn't that why they're like, miles under the earth? Wait, really? Aren't those server rooms like, under the earth? Not generally. I mean, there is a really famous data center in, I want to say, like, Norway or Sweden that's, like, buried in, in like, a Dr. Evil, like, underground <laughs> cave. Wow. It's really cool. There's, 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 if you look up photos of it online, like, it's legitimately carved, like, into stone underground. Wow. That would be cool to work there. Sounds like they put more into that than they did that Noah's Ark shit that had all the, uh, DNA from the the planet on it. You know what I've noticed lately? Yes? You know modern fancy houses like oh, where celebrities yeah. live in? Oh yeah, I know those houses. Ugh. I mean no shut up, Mick. <laughs> I'm trying to make a point. <laughs> Fucking have you seen that movie Dus Ex Mach or no, it's called Ex Machina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh it's about that girl who's a robo. Yeah. And and you know that research facility they live in? Yeah, Harry Steve Jobs' house. That's what every modern mansion thing looks like now. It's always like concretey, blocky, scary buildings. Yeah. Why do people want to live in those? Yeah, it is like kind of like that minimalistic look. Yeah, but it's fucking like depressing as shit. It certainly doesn't have mama's flair. It's always just like big concrete cubes everywhere. Yeah, and like blankish wall, minimalist like uh, decor. Yeah, I mean, staring at a concrete wall makes me just sad. I don't know what it is. They just have like a, a bamboo tree in the middle of a room. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. I've never thought about like what my ideal like house would be if I could just like have any house I wanted. I just I like lots of wood everywhere. You Wood's would. nice. Just like those big fancy like cabins. I mean, yeah, that's structurally sound with a little a little concrete here and there. If you had the coolest biggest house, like it could have anything in it that you wanted, but. The thing was, is that it was out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. Would you, would you like that? Yeah, I'd love that. If you had to choose between a giant house in the middle of nowhere, or a tiny apartment where everyone you, like, close to everyone you knew, which one would you pick? The big place. I'm talking, this big place, you needed to ride, like, a helicopter for, like, a half hour, or, no, for, like, an hour to uh. see any of your friends. <laughs> That would be kind of annoying. Because it's really remote. It's on an island. You need to aim that at your oh, mouth. Oh, no! There you go. But, okay. Uh, I would... No, I would still prefer the big place. Chris, prefer you'd leave us just for a big old dinky, stinky house? Kinda, yeah. Wow. Because, unlike you, my house won't die after, like, 30 years. Also, the truth <laughs> is... <laughs> <laughs> also... <laughs> yeah. Depending on how cool your house is, most of your friends would probably just scab and fucking move in with you. Yeah, just come and stay. You just you'd be like, uh, okay, just clean up after yourself, please. Yeah, pretty much. You're good. You're good, generous you're soul. You're definitely. By the way, you're definitely going to outlive me. <laughs> are, are there are there eighteen bedrooms in this house? Is it just like a stupidly big house? I don't want. Like, I wouldn't even... hate a place that big, honestly. Would 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 it be fun though to have a house that was so big that you hadn't even seen all of it? It would be cool in theory, but then like cleaning day comes and you're like, oh fuck. <laughs> but if you had a house that big, you, you'd have like live-in staff. I would like to. I think. I don't want to have to spend a, a salary every year just to live just in a house. Just to clean it. Yeah. I guess that's fair. I want a place where I can clean it my on my own some. But I still have enough space to do what I want. What if the house came with a cleaning crew? Uh, for like 80 years, yeah, that'd be good. But I'd say, you're not allowed to sleep in the house. Go outside. <gasps> and they you have make to- them all out, sleep on out, the lawn. Out with you! I showed them that YouTube you channel dust. where those little, like, Indian people make little houses in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> And they make, like, awesome swimming pools. You know, I think it would be pretty cool, uh... <laughs> you know, like, those, uh, those tents? Yeah. That they turn into houses, and that you can put- that you, Sometimes you see them out in the woods, <laughs> yeah. you can put them out on a beach somewhere. Yeah. Those are fucking epic. Have you seen those videos of the little guys who make the pools and shit? Uh, I'm oh, not... yeah, 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 out of dirt. Yeah. I wonder how far they could go with that, like... Oh, we make an underground parking lot out of dirt. And then they drive in their little wooden cars and park them. They drive in their dirt cars. <laughs> <laughs> and then they have their dirt girlfriends in the seats and they start making out with yeah. them. Then they take them out to dinner where 
The whole restaurant's made of dirt. <laughs> and a fancy waiter covered in dirt hands him a plate of dirt. <laughs> 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 sounds, like a, sounds like a perfect utopia. And then they have a dirt little like movie theater, and the projector just projects dirt onto the screen. It yeah, that, you know what? Dirt out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like twenty five frames a second of dirt changing Instead constantly. Instead of light bulbs, there's dirt bulbs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just dirt constantly spraying. And everywhere. then finally, they fall in love, and he puts on a dirt condom. But when he fucks her, it just like fucking comes off, and they have a fucking child. She gets pregnant. And when it comes out, it's just a fucking dirt baby. <laughs> a dirty little baby, yeah. <laughs> now this is starting to sound really racist. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, if you thought that was racist, there is something wrong with yeah, you. Yeah, there is something wrong with me, clearly. I don't, I don't think there's something there... wrong with society. I'll, yeah. I'll admit to That's that. your brain going there. We were talking about fictional dirt people. <laughs> Tomar, what's the song? He's tricking you, that's not a song. It is a song. I mean, I don't recognize it offhand. It's in Shrek. It's in Shrek. It's in the Shrek BGM. Yeah. Come on, Tomer, you know it. Which scene- which scene is that? When Fiona gets killed by Lord Farquaad, and everyone's sad. <laughs> that didn't ha wait, I guess- <laughs> That actually does kinda happen, doesn't it? Yeah. She dies, but then by turning back into an ogre, she's not dead? Yeah, exactly! <laughs> That doesn't happen at all, you fucking fool. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> it doesn't happen. It totally happens. You just doesn't die. She just fucking dies at the end of the movie, and they're like, wait a minute, what if we... What if she becomes an ogre? Yeah, and then her turning into... <laughs> and Ogres then, are alive! And then her dead, rotting corpse turns into an ogre, and she's alive again. <laughs> Or, because she is just a green rotting corpse, they think she's an ogre that's yeah, alive she, again. She's already, yeah, she's already dead. She's been also, <laughs> the song was Hallelujah. Oh. Oh. Wait, how the fuck was what you were singing <laughs> I Hallelujah? Didn't, I did not recognize that as Hallelujah. See, now you recognize it. Oh, once there was a yeah, secret bah, bah, chord that somebody played at a play in the Lord. But you know, for the car from beyond the Dunya. I'm going to the fourth, the fifth, the, fifth, the minor fall, the minor fall, the scale of the fifth. Oh, did the minor fall in the mental oh, lift? Oh, yeah. Then he pled the fifth. <laughs> did you see? There's, a, there's a, a video on YouTube where a guy's like, oh, everyone fuck. sings in Hallelujah, uh, Hallelujah cover. Hallelujah. And everyone fucking sucks at it. And he's just like, look at this person. This person fucking sucks. It's like he's not singing it exactly how I want him to. It's just a bunch of people just singing it. That's like half the people on Reddit. It's like, why isn't everything exactly as I expect it to be? No, no, he, he ha has a few good points, like, all the covers do suck, but he's- All the things he's saying are just like... Like, this isn't how it's supposed to be. It's like, it's a fucking musical cover. Why would you want it to be exactly, exactly the same? Exactly the same, yeah. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is impressive if somebody can sing a song exactly like another singer. Yeah. But beyond that, it's like, I- yeah, it's like, that's, I guess in the real world, that's a marketable skill, because sure. you can go work in a bar as, like, yep. a cover guy. Yep. That guy who could sing just like Freddie Mercury was in the movie. Rami Malek? No. Merrick Ma Rami? Mark Ma Martell. He sounds exactly like Freddie Mercury. Oh, yeah! The that actual guy. singer for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a pity Freddie Mercury is dead, you know? So yeah. the devil guy, you give your health, and this guy, you give your money? Yeah. Mick, I bet if you met Freddie Mercury, he would have taken a liking to you. You know, I bet I would have gotten along with him. I think we would have been- I think we could have been friends. Yeah, he would have said, Darling, you're so likable. I feel like at one point we'd get really wasted and maybe he'd put his arm around me Don't and... say anything gay related. <laughs> <laughs> That's Why? not all he was, Mick. I was gonna say we'd <laughs> still be friends. <laughs> and he'd say, Wow, let's fuck. <laughs> Don't say anything <laughs> gay related. Yeah, I wanted it. You wanted it. Does that make you horny when you hear that, Chris? The. Uh, mm, nah. Good. Because that would be wrong. That would be cool. Cool. Cooler. You know what, Mick? You know yeah. what's really cool? When you. you aim your mic down away from your Fuck, speaking look, hole. Look, look at me. Look, if I do, if I put it up, right here it is. If you put it up. Wow. It, no, it's gonna sink again. 
God damn, haven't you ever heard of MacGyvering a situation? You yeah, you- you- Bend it like that, oh. you fucking twoot. Look, now it's work. God damn! <laughs> Here, I'll try it. I told you! You fucking WikiLeak! I told you! <laughs> you wik- you WikiLeak, how's that? Oh, is that better? Yes, that's- <laughs> <laughs> You Except fucking now, WikiLeak? Now my head is- I'm gonna get a neck cramp. Yeah, you know what? I should have thought. Oh. oh wait, there we go. Yeah. Hey. hey okay. Look, you can do it like that. Nice. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Like this, the fourth, the fifth, the nine of no. What the fuck is that? It's uh, the the the. Uh. <laughs> I lose. Oh my god. Oh! Tomar, <laughs> you know the, the Mandela effect. That's the thing where uh. That's the, like Berenstein Bears thing, right? Yeah, where like something you think happened and really didn't actually happen, but you're really convinced it really did for no reason. Is it just when you feel that, or is it no, when it's, a society? It's when, it's when a that. lot of people, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's like a, a big group, like thought thing. We all Everybody have the same thought. Everybody remembers the same shit wrong. Exactly. And so some people attribute that to like, like time travel or like alternate universes or something. Yeah. No, you know what? That actually really happened to me with uh, Mike Tyson getting his ear bit off. He didn't get his ear bit off. I know. Off. Yeah, exactly. he did. No, he no, didn't. He, he bit, really no, did. He bit no, somebody he bit else's ears off. Oh no, 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 no. That's off. what I meant. He he bit someone else. No, but he didn't bite someone else's ear off. What? Yes, yeah. he did. No, that's what I thought. But he didn't. He didn't bite anyone's ear off. He Dude, we got we got a day bought, off of school for that. Of he, uh, he bought a Vander. He bit uh, Vander Holyfield's ear. How did he, you hear that he, he bit didn't? it? But everyone everyone thinks he bit it off. I oh I I well yeah I, I don't remember seeing the actual damage. I thought he did bite it off. I did too, but it didn't happen. I, you probably just saw like a I whole even, bunch of like renditions of it. I even remember. Well, no, I, I may have just sort of put that in my head. <laughs> Evander Holyfield's daughter, uh... Bit her own clit off. <laughs> no. I went to a track meet with Bit her, Mike and then Tyson's he was there, off. like, oh. in the audience. And I remember specifically looking at his ear, because I wanted to see if a piece was missing. Yeah. And in my head, it was, but... I, my memory's so shit that I may have just made that up to make myself feel better about how his ears look normal, so I don't know. Isn't that weird, though? He grew it back. He cut off a little- he cut off a little piece of his nose and just put it on his ear. What if, uh, the Nelson Mandela effect happened to you, Tomar, where... You remember that Hallelujah song the way it is, but then one day you were listening to it on the radio, and he says, It's a cold and big stinky hallelujah. <laughs> Would you- <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> it's a cold and big stinky- I- 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 nothing? Would you prefer I it in the new way? <laughs> I would prefer it in the new way. If there was a- if you could- if you could transport yourself to a-, a d another dimension, yeah. where in that dimension, that's how he's saying the song, would you move to that dimension? <laughs> yeah. Just that is different, you're saying, though. You're that's the only thing that's else different. Is different. Nothing else is different. So there's no other consequence to that decision? No. You just live in a world yeah. where in- in that song, <laughs> He says a stinky hallelujah. <laughs> it's a cold and big stinky. But here's hallelujah. the thing: there is a risk that by going to this other dimension, you could like implode the types time space continuum. Well, then maybe I probably wouldn't go if that was really a risk. I don't know if it's worth it to you. It's not a. That is not a trade, an even trade. <laughs> Potential destruction of time uh, I space. I beg to differ. Tomer, what if for, every time you listen to it? Hallelujah. <laughs> what if every time you listen to it, it Fuck. got slightly more aggressive? Where he goes, <laughs> it goes like this: the fourth, the fifth, like that. Every time I listen to it, that got more aggressive until the it fourth, the fifth. <laughs> well, he says it, it keeps changing the words, so he goes, the fourth, the fifth. <laughs> The minor fjall! <laughs> and the major man! The major man! Well, by the end, it, God, what song it's would that even be? And Big Stanky! <laughs> Hallelujah! Do you cry when you hear that song? No. Oh, fuck. It is a nice song, though. It is a nice song. I was gonna say, it's like... If something sad was happening and that song was playing, it would probably push me over the if edge. If I was to put that song in any movie, it would definitely be Shrek 1. What about that one song, uh... Oh my god, this is bad. You can't kill those things in the middle? 
Oh my god, I'm fucked. Oh shit. I'm oh, oh wait! Oh, oh you almost got dead. out of that here. Oh my god, I'm still alive. Your emergency little thingy. This was a triumph. <laughs> 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 what about a universe where that song was like, <laughs> like remained a top ten hit like for, for like a decade after Portal came out? I would like that universe. Is that wait? Is that the cake song? No. What's the cake song? Uh, I mean, it is technically is a cake it. song. I guess. I mean, I don't know about anyone calling it the cake song, but she she mentions the cake, and I think it's right after that song that they show the cake. Guys. Even though this cake is great, yeah. Oh yeah, it's so delicious and moist. Tomer, did we talk about that one online comic where it's a bunch of like badly drawn people at a party and they're like, "This party's great and all, but how do we know if other gamers are here?" And then the girl <laughs> picks up a cake and she's like, "This cake is so delicious and moist." And then a guy shouts, "The cake is a lie!" And they all smile at each other. <laughs> I definitely have seen that comic. <laughs> I can't remember who shared it recently on like Twitter. It's fucking epic. How bad do you want to go to space, Tomar? If you had an opportunity Me? to move, to move, if Jaxie got in a horrible, <laughs> terrible accident. Space accident. A space accident. Un until tr space travel is as like streamlined as air travel, I wouldn't want to go anywhere fucking near space. I don't want to wind up like that challenger teacher. Yeah. I mean, that's a super sad story, but it's- the point is, is like... It's still such a, like... Even- even with, like, some of the most brilliant minds in the world backing it, it's still such a, like, uncharted territory that things can still go wrong. I thought they were talking about having, like, uh, flights to Mars in the next, like, ten years. I mean, they very well might, but... To this- to date, a single human has never set foot on Mars. So I feel like there's still a ways to go. Tomorrow you could be the first. I don't want to be the first human to go to Mars. You'd be such a great Mars guy, though. Didn't they already establish, like, we'd have to develop... I mean, maybe those SpaceX rockets can work. I don't know, like, the reusable ones, You're but... just such a smart guy. And you're really smart. Shut up. And you're just so smart. I feel yeah. like you'd be- you'd do much better than that stupid Matt Damon. Or Elon's shit. Yeah. Elon- I don't think Elon Musk ever went into space. Oh. oh. That's what you think, Yeah, you that's what you think. Shit. You haven't seen the videos. That's why he sent his car up there, so he'd have something to drive when he got to Mars. <laughs> I want Elon Musk to dip himself into, like, primordial gel and become, like, a god creature. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah, and then he can call himself Elon Flux. <laughs> Elon Flux. Wait, is that the- is that the plot of Aeon Flux or something? <laughs> Not at all! <laughs> I've never Not actually- Not even close! I've never actually watched Aeon Flux. Me neither. What?! Yeah. You haven't seen Aeon Flux?! No! What no. the- I mean, I, wa I watched it on TV, like, as a kid, but I had no idea what was going on. Same with Rain. Uh, the, the whole thing about, like, Alexander the Great. Like, it's the same artist where, like, they draw everyone really, like, uh, sort of, like, lanky and skinny. Are you making fun of me? I'm talking about the cartoon Are Aeon Flux. Are you making but... fun of me, Tomar? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Good. Have you seen the video of Elon Musk? Where he like- <laughs> Elon Musk? Where he like, spits in the muck? Yeah. And he slips in the muck? Yeah. And he's covered in muck? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. And then about. someone takes a big old mucky wiener and starts gagging him <laughs> on it. And he, and he spits all the muck into a bowl, and when they're all done with him, he <laughs> fucking takes the bowl and dumps it on his head. <laughs> uh, I like the idea of that. Just him rolling around in muck, <laughs> having a muck-filled day. <laughs> <laughs> He's from South Africa. I don't know what, like, he looks like to me. He looks like a Swedish guy, maybe? Yeah, he looks like I don't a, know, he's got like a... He looks like a Nord man who got like hit on the head with a hammer so his head went down into his neck a little bit. <laughs> I was gonna bit. say, it's kind of flat. <laughs> I don't mean that, he's very handsome. Do you mean that? Yeah. Mmm. I think he... He's a handsome guy. D do you think he's really handsome or is he just handsome because of all that money? Definitely the money. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, he actually is like... He's not a bad looking guy. No, he's he's not a freak. <laughs> he's not a sick freak. Oh, God. 
There is a video of him kicking a dog to death, though. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. If he did that, he'd be in <laughs> fucking jail. <laughs> He would immediately lose his company. It's not a real doggy though, because he made it out of like PayPal money. That's the question: is if you make your own robot dog, do you have the right to abuse it? Yeah. I mean, I would argue yes. It's just a fucking robot. Tomer, that is a good question. You know, if uh, if you're playing a game like The Sims 2, you can lock a little Sims 2 dog in a room and set it on fire, right? Yeah. Would you do that to a real robot dog if if you could get it for free every week, like a new robot dog free every week? I don't know that I do it just because like <laughs> I mean uh, no, but you would do it to a Sims 2 dog, wouldn't you? Just to see what would happen. I guess. So why not do it to a real robot dog? Just because of like the effort of setting anything on fire <laughs> in the real world and the dangers of What it? if you have a butler that'll do it for you? All you have to do is say the word. I don't see the point of it. I no, wouldn't do it I'm either. Sorry. I would feel I bad. Do it. I would feel fucking weird about it. But isn't it weird that there's technically no difference? Like a simulated dog. Yeah. If anything, the Sims one is sort of... You could argue it's worse because it resembles a real dog more exactly. closely. Exactly! Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't think anyone was a horrible person for doing it, although I imagine a horrible person would do it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like... It's not winning you any points with anybody. There are certain things that if you do them in video games, people lose their shit. I'm just saying, if I had... If I had a best friend... And then I found out the only bad thing they ever did was fucking beat a robot dog to death for like two hours straight. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't like disown them as a friend. That's kind of sadistic though. It's, it's pretty weird. <laughs> but it's still just a robot. Tomer, you know in Dark Souls, the guy at the beginning of the game, Oscar? He's the guy who lets you out of your cell. I didn't know his name was Oscar. His oh. name, is that really his name? Yeah. I actually never knew his name either. But if uh, if, if you kill up? him in a video online, people lose their shit because they like him so much for letting them out. Wait, in which Dark Souls? Dark Souls One. Wait, is he the guy that you uh, that you see is lying there? He's like, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm dying. Take my jug. Is that yeah. a thing? If you if you do that, then the entire Dark Souls community disowns you forever. <laughs> It's not that bad, but that, people- He's the first guy I kill. He gives you like- he gives you like three levels worth of uh, experience. Wait, he- so if no, he has he a doesn't. good drop- <laughs> I was gonna say, if that were true, then I think people would- Stop would ruining for, my would plans. Forgive it. Yeah, that's true. Get the baby pet, you were born wrong. It's like you- you, keep, you can kill shopkeepers and get- like, you can get the Uchigatana really early in the game by killing that one shopkeeper. He doesn't do anything bad to you, he's not like mean or nasty. It's just that- He's, eh. Can we all just be real right now? The Uchi Katana, our favorite thing about it isn't that it's a powerful weapon. It's the fact that you get to say Uchi Katana. Yes, Uchi -katana. that's correct. <laughs> Frick! Also, samurais are just cool, and so are their swords by proxy. That's a good point. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get angel rooms. I don't, I don't think I have the capability. I think that Dark Souls oh! remaster... It's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. I never actually played the remaster. They fucking- they I were, think your face is one of the saddest things I've ever seen. They were a little fucking liars about how they marketed it. They showed this really cool CG trailer that made you go, Wow, it's gonna look like that! Yeah, and there they, was like epic boob physics and everything, and they just- they what? ruined it. They got rid of everything. The, no, epic they literally just physics. released- No, the game is like nearly exactly the same, like almost to a T. Like, I don't like the lighting. I yeah, heard the, complaints about the lighting and the fire yeah, in yeah. particular. The lighting, yeah. They had a chance to fix everything that was wrong, and they didn't do it. I think it came down to like, who they entrusted to- to do the remake. Yeah. I mean- not to throw shade, but like, I don't know. It feels like it's like when people are like, "Well, we got to remake a game, but we don't want to waste the original studio's time, so let's just see who's cheap." Mm. Just sucks. I wish they had done Lost Isolith a little better. Just the second half of the game. Wait, which part? From like after oh. Anor Orlando, it oh. gets kind of shitty. They, they, you know what they still have is, you know, the bed of chaos? Yeah. How you can do that trick? Yeah. They still have that, that bug. You just fucking go in, slash it up, and then just exit out of the game, come back, <laughs> do it again. It's the best way to do it. Oh, it is such a cheesy cheese. It, well, um, they shouldn't have made it so unfair to begin with. It's true.
If you try to do that legit, it is a really tough fight. It's not a fight, it's just like luck, it's so stupid. Chris, I've seen videos of people beating that boss naked with which, their bare wait, which, hands. Sorry, which boss are you guys the talking about? The bed of chaos. bed of chaos. He's that big stupid demon with the two glowing orbs on either side and you run up his center. Yeah, you run inside of it. I barely remember that. Yeah. Guess that just proves how long it's been since I've actually played the first Dark Souls. I can barely remember any of Dark Souls 2. It's like every time I play a new one, it like pushes any memories of the previous <laughs> game out of my head. <laughs> You know, the thing is, is that they're so- they are similar and different at the same time, like they'll reuse locations, NPCs, and all that kind of stuff, so I could see it being confusing for some people. Yeah. Yeah. I thought everyone's favorite character was Onion Head. Sigmayer of yeah. Katarina. I do- mm. I do like Sigmayer. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he's funny. Mm. He makes funny noise, therefore mm. I like him. Alright. This, I think, makes it so I can, like, break through bricks with my body, but then Ooh. I get real slow and fat. Do it. I want to see that. Thunder thighs. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So, what's the problem? You're still pretty fast, right? Nah, I lose a little speed, but I'm fine. Ah. We're good. I like that. Let's do... Yabba dabba do. Cut out me yawning and being stupid, okay. <laughs> Hey, look at that! Cut my life out into pieces. <laughs> this is malicious, huh? Do you think they ever use that for like a Club Med commercial? <laughs> Maybe. They're like, a guy's at the office and he's hating his job, and he fucking, he's like, cut my life into pieces. And then he's all of a sudden at a, at a Club Med resort on a beach, and he's like, this is my last resort! It's the cheesiest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. It's terrible. <laughs> You're a loser. Dude! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, help up! Oh. oh, I'm in a dark place! I like that. They made it look like an old game. Yeah, yeah that's back. like how they used to make rooms look dark in like NES era. What was that? What would they do? Just using like grays and blues like that. Take my cues. I like, uh... Take my cues. I wish there was more like adventure type in what to do kind of questy games that weren't Ooh. just complete horseshit. Where you can fuck around with them and have a good time, no matter what you're doing. You mean like Fallout? Um, no. I mean like that Lord of the Rings game we played, where it's like... The text-based one? Yeah, I like that. It's fun. And stuff like that's cool, because you really can build it out as big as you want, because you don't have to actually build any assets. Like, I think Monkey Island is cool, but I also... It's, it's so you have to do exactly what it wants you to do. Monkey what happens Island. when that gets to 777? <laughs> Monkey Island. Chris, do you think you'd do well if you if you were uh, living on an island full of apes? Do you feel like you'd eventually earn their respect and become one of the family? Depends on what kind of apes you're talking about. Let's say they're all, uh... Grape or, apes. Orangutans. Orangutans seem pretty nice. Those are the hairy orange ones, right? They seem yeah, like they got the real long arms. They, they yeah. seem like the nicest out of all of them. They seem now. Nice, is that but just because, they? yeah, in movies we always see them? You know, oh, they're the funny looking it's wise that ones. I've never heard of an orangutan ripping a guy's head off. That's <laughs> like, or like fucking biting off a guy's thumbs and his penis. Yeah, we'll blame the media for that because you know. You think there's like a, a media Jew conspiracy regarding <laughs> orangutans? orangutans? Yes. You just can't say anything bad about orangutans, yeah. <laughs> or the orangutan lobby will destroy you. It's yeah, it's awesome. Called, <laughs> it's called Big Orangutan. Orangutan. It's like it's like Big Tobacco. I love blowing up shit via I'm video. I'm gonna reroll that. Ah, that's fine. Blue cap. Yeah. Yeah. Yahoo. <laughs> what what's the triple jump sound? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the fourth one. It's you? Yeah. yeah. How many how many for a super <laughs> jump? How many do you need? <laughs> no, it's That's the the third one is just the wahoo. <laughs> no, it's yeah. Blah. Shamana. Yeah. Blah. Shamana. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> that is Oh my god, I had another Mandela moment. <laughs> 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 uh oh goodness back when ding dong and julian oh, yeah. were here we modded mario 64 to have different sound effects 
and for some reason one of them just broke and it was just a clipping like exploding sound effect whenever he jumped. Oh, <laughs> so it'd be like Whoa! <laughs> it was fucking scary. Yeah. We also had a a scream that that I did, but it sounded just like Homer Simpson. You know, if you were to take a game and remove all the sound effects and then just randomly, it could be when you fire something, when you get hurt, when you get an item, and you just had a blood curdling scream. So it'd be <laughs> dead silence while you're playing, and just randomly you'd get some fucking good times. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Pretty much. Pretty much, Chris. Hey, man. Hey, man. What is- what is that voice? Oh, that's- no, man. That's the guy from Akatine Hunger Force. Oh, yeah, man. Wait, who, man? The guy where he's like, Gentlemen, behold! Oh, and the guy's like, oh, the guy uh, what the, the hell is that yeah. thing? Oh, what? No. I, yeah. I think it's just based on an old cartoon yes, voice. Yes, Dr. Evil. Doctor, was that Doctor? I don't know what his name was. I forget too. Doctor, Doctor Dingle. That used to make me name, laugh but nearly I, every I time. I can't remember. Gentlemen, I can't do that voice. You do it, gentlemen. <laughs> I gentlemen. like yours better. That's it. No. I like yours better. <laughs> it sounds. Gentlemen. Like, gentlemen. I yeah, it was like that. I love that guy's voice. Behold. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> when the game would always go like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Well. Wow. wow. Well, that's that's, that's all right. I loved Aqua Teen, man. That was my shit. Back man. in the day, Aqua Teen will f f fuck with you. Aqua Teen is full of goo. What was the song? It was Meatwad Get the Money, honey, see. see. Yeah. Meatwad Meat get, get the, the Honey, honey see. see. Yeah, that's right. Driving my car, car, living like a star. I see my blah blah looking blah blah blah. Yeah. Ice on my fingers and my toes, and I'm a Taurus. <laughs> really? That is the actual lyric. Yeah. Wow. I was, uh, do you remember Metalocalypse? Yeah. In the- in the theme song, he says, Pickles the drummer doodly do, ding dong doodly doodly do. <laughs> <laughs> Those are epic lyrics. <laughs> I miss the days of good old music. I like Murderface's voice. My murder face! He has that really heavy... <laughs> <laughs> it's peepee -pee time! <laughs> All those voices are great. Yeah. Instantly recognizable. Brend I like Brendan Small's, like, of the two things I know he made, home movies and that, like, he's two for two with me. Yeah, no, he's fucking awesome. It's really sad they won't, like, let him have that series back and he just wants to, like, make the rest of it. It got cancelled. Would you go out to dinner with him, Chris? No, I'd be scared. Oh. There's certain people that I look up to that I don't want to meet because I just- will just- Make an asshole out of myself. I know exactly what you mean. Shit. I really look up to. I used to watch home movies when I was a little boy. So that's kind of fucking weird. Mm. It's really, really weird to like watch something from such a young age, and then you're an adult. You're 30 years old, and you're meeting people <laughs> that made the shit that you liked when you were a tiny baby boy. Yeah. You're all nostalgic for it. Yeah. That's like, uh, it's like when you hook up with a porn star and you're like, Oh my god, I've been watching your videos since I was like 12. Yeah. And she's like, Thanks, honey! <laughs> Thanks! You're pretty cute yourself! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord! I have a feeling I'm not gonna get to Smega Satan for Shmega. a while. Smegma. I just got this feeling. Good old Smegma Satan. Hold on. What? One time, yeah. there was this guy, and I'm not gonna name him. Yeah. But, we were playing Isaac, and uh, it was like Doodle and, and Jeffers, and we were talking about the game, we were talking about Mega Satan, and how do you unlock Mega Satan and all this shit. And this is back when I first played the game, I hadn't seen it before, but there was another guy in the room. And while we were discussing what the rules were, like what the uh, the requirements Re to requirements for Omega Satan for Omega Satan, this guy got so infuriated over hearing our conversation, he <laughs> stood up and was like, "What? What the hell? What the hell are you talking about?" Oh! And we were like, "Excuse me!" Like he he was enraged, and he's like, "Oh yeah, Omega Satan. Oh yeah, okay. Oh." Uh. <laughs> Like, we were like, dude, we weren't even talking to you! We were talking about a game where there's a character called Megasit. What, he, what event was this at? Was that fucking 
Yes. <laughs> I was trying not to say his name, but it was well, just... you didn't say his name. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, this this dude was a treat, man. That's the same guy who I told the story about <laughs> yes, where he we... tried bringing the girl into the woods. Yeah, and he also threatened to kick your ass. Yeah. He was, and then also threatened a girl and said, You're lucky you're a woman, otherwise I'll kick your ass. <laughs> I love- dude, when he left, there was a plate of hair on under his bed. Yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, That guy was boy. fucked up. Oh. A plate of hair. A plate of hair. I'm gonna get you. I'm not- I'm not- I'm gonna get you. Is Auto there, turret. It's like a weird Ooh. thing when people like that are so far gone into being a terrible human being. Yep. It's just everyone else is an idiot and they're not. Yeah. Like wait, every wait, wait, wait. Did, did I also- I don't think I told in that story that he got really mad at us because we were watching Yes. Babies falling down compilation. <laughs> we were all screaming in laughter at babies like falling and starting to scream. And then he got really fucking angry. Yep. He said, I'm changing this. And then he put on uh honest trailers, the funniest videos you'll ever see. <laughs> it was I, so funny. Did you guys ever um Do you guys ever read articles, uh like news articles on your phone? Uh no. sure, yeah. So I, I have all the news all the news networks. I got Fox, I got CNN, uh, fucking Newsweek, all, all that shit, right? Yeah. And one of them is BuzzFeed, and it is interesting to see some of their articles. However, and I'm not I'm not trying to sound like an ass here, but they're clearly like uh like they're like catering to a gay demographic with a lot of the headlines. And I didn't get that until later. <laughs> like, like there was one where it was like, dude, Buzzfeed is the worst. It one. It was like Khloe Kardashian just busted out on Insta, and I'm straight. And I'm like, what? So then I like go through the article, and it's just like all these photos of the Kardashians at the end. And yeah, like I said, I'm straight now, or something like I'm not. I, I fucking know. And then there's other ones where it's like, so and so just got a new ass. I'm shook. Yeah, like, no, it's, it's the, one wor after it's the, the worst other. shit possible. It's, you know what? It feels a little, ex not exclusive. It just feels so specific for one audience. I almost feel like I'm not supposed to read the article because this isn't like for me or something. That isn't how I talk. That's not how I relate. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to be totally so oblivious to what's going on, but I, I also don't want to just constantly have negativity being thrown at me every time I, I look at the news. I guess you just have to look at that stuff as like this is a cue as to whether or not. Like, the headline is now kind of a cue for whether this article- Yeah, is for you. Is for you, but that's still kind of a fucked up way to look at news. It's like, news shouldn't have to be always, like, That's kind of the thing, like, isn't there a neutral, like, ground where we all kind of- No! <laughs> no. No! <laughs> Fine! Can't say I didn't try. The best thing you can do is avoid the news and be oblivious when the nukes fall. <laughs> Just turn around, close your eyes. Yeah, we went we went to DEFCON 4 yesterday, Chris. I know. Well, Yay! I should, probably shouldn't date the episode too much by saying yesterday. But yeah, the whole news of the India-Pakistan thing... Now, for our viewers out there, DEFCON 4 isn't too bad, right? No, it's like... That's like, that's level, that's level 2. It's, since it specifically five. revolves around the United States, it basically means the U.S. is not in any, like, direct jeopardy, but the world stage suggests that, like, there could be nuclear activity. Like, it, it basically is like the war- the, like, the higher level warning level, where it's just like, you should keep an eye out. Yeah. Some weird stuff's happening. So we're in Gef- we're in DEFCON 4? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're in DEFCON 4. There's people on Twitter complaining about that you shouldn't be allowed to quote a tweet. Did you see that? What? what? <laughs> Just people getting angry, being like, Quoting an artist's tweet hurts the artist! People getting, like, mad upset over Why quote would quoting them hurt? hurt? I mean, legitimately don't understand. You mean doing, like, a quote tweet versus a straight retweet? I'm not sure. Yeah, what the yeah I think so, is? yeah. It's- all of those things are still better than, like, Right click, Why save even as, care? and then reposting, like, people's artwork Why and stuff. Why give a fucking shit about that in the first place? Oh, I was gonna say, all roll. that is is blaming the typical behavior of users on the person Because <laughs> the idea is, okay, a person's less likely to, like, click on the, the like, yeah, but get the over quoted it. tweet, but I was gonna say, that's everybody's fault. I've had my cartoons that's... stolen and posted on other websites millions of times. You don't see me fucking screaming about it. You don't it. understand, Chris. That's because you're a big boy, You're Chris. not one of us little guys, Chris. You don't go, understand. Go, go, go. 
Make yourself a big guy then, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Is that your advice to artists? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not... nothing. You're not not nothing. I'm You're not something. nothing. No, I was gonna say, I'm not something an artist. Special to me. I do like doing art, but I don't feel like I'm that good at what I do. That's because you're stupid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're talentless and stupid. <laughs> That's something I think about a lot, though. Where I'm, I, I try to do too much, and I don't, I don't improve at anything. That I, I feel the same way. <laughs> it sucks. I think, I think clearly you, you are great. You do good job. You do good funny. Well, I rest my case. I guess I don't need to kill myself yet. Not today. Not, Not today, my friend. Maybe soon, though. Uh, yeah, just don't do it. Mark I'm here. your calendars. <laughs> you don't implicate me. <laughs> yeah.